I put it right out See, there. This is this is why we have Kenny on the podcast because he comes up with stuff clever that I will never come up with. I had nothing on that one though. I was so like I was still fumbling. <laughs> he was there. dumbfounded. <laughs> Go, strap yourselves in. Lock your spoils in attack position. We're going in, we're going in full throttle. It's Trench Run. Yet another Star Wars podcast for your listening pleasure. And now, from the forest moon of Endor, it's Kenny. Along with the man whose mini chlorians are off the chart. We got Brian. And now, straight from the swamps of Dagobah, your host, Nick LaPolka. What's up, everyone, and welcome to the Trench Run, a Star Wars podcast, a place where three friends with varying degrees of Star Wars knowledge talk about the saga from a galaxy far, far away and a time long ago. As always, remember to check us out on Audio Boom. Subscribe to your podcast feed of choice, whether it be iTunes, Audio Boom, or Stitcher. Also, remember to email us at trenchfrontpod at gmail.com. Uh, with me on the 41st episode, because one guy decided he wanted to skip the 40th episode because he forgot there was a 40th episode, is Kenny. How you doing, Kenny? You totally read that. That's not fair. You read that whole thing. I didn't read that. that. I'm pretty I sure you did. I would never read anything. I saw you staring at the computer yeah. the entire time. He, he, said, he said he would never read anything. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> how, do you not, how do you not nail him on that? <laughs> hey, at least I nailed it this time. I mean, I've you fucking given him read free anymore. access to audiobooks, and he doesn't even he listen doesn't to doesn't even read anything. Because I got podcasts to listen to. So, I, I don't know, man. I'm okay. I, I listened to your your all your uh, jumbled up garbage from the last time. You guys, you had a lot of issues, you know, which we'll get into, I'm sure. But I'm, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm here. So, uh, welcome. Yeah, Thank we you missed right. you, Kenny. We missed Thank you. you. I miss you. Well, actually, you're like I, the, I didn't miss you. You're like the Brian. <laughs> so you're like the you're like the glue that doesn't hold us together or some shit. I don't know. Nick. Yes. Better Call Saul is on Netflix. By the way, you should probably go out and no, not even go out. Just literally roll over and yeah, hit just the button. Stay in. <laughs> stay. Just stay in. And watch Netflix. Kenny, Kenny, you're desperate for me to watch uh, Better Call Saul, aren't you? Or just anything that yeah that I like that you should like also. I that, should just like whatever that, you feel like, Kenny. That you should not wait. For fucking ten years down the road, when well, and like rebels and stuff like that. But we'll get into. I'll, I'll get into my my uh, my stuff from y'all's last week. I don't even well, remember be, the last episode. To be fair, I did watch Breaking Bad the last like two or three seasons That's live. The thing. So, so though, that... but you you send us stuff on Breaking Bad and like you haven't even watched like on this Breaking Bad movie that's coming out. You haven't even watched five four seasons of Better Call Saul. Like you don't get to send us stuff like that if you haven't seen Better Call Saul. I I don't need to watch Better Call Saul to watch the Breaking Bad movie that's I a sequel of the Breaking Bad TV do. show. Well, you should. Absolutely, you should. Well, then I'll watch it eventually. You there's there's sequel parts of Better Call Saul. Oh, I'm sure there is. There he's at a uh, what a uh, a cinnabon a cinnabon or something like that at the beginning of the f- episode one. Well, and several other episodes. I think like pretty much yeah, every I, season starts out with a. Yeah, and that's about you know that's like cool to see where he's at now in Nebraska or whatever. But then yeah, you then you, you get into the regular part of the the regular meat flashback, which is good stuff. I'll watch it eventually. Don't worry. What exactly are you fucking watching now that is better than that? I don't know. Trying to finish up uh, Clone Wars and Revenge of the Sith. And oh please, you. You watch those episodes like the day that we record the podcast. Yeah, and then the day we what record the, the podcast, I'll watch your other Avengers thirteen Sith. days in between the podcast. I go see movies and review them for my channel, which is Movie Emporium. Da, 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 Yay! That's the only hey, we're hey, here. I'm not the one plugging it, so that's, that's the only you. That's on you here guys. Plug your other bullshit. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> uh, but no, so, so like, you guys also just real quick, you guys also talked about shadow dropping. Last week, and the actual definition of shadow dropping is when you poop under a tree, like on the side that's not on the sun. Is <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know this from experience, Kenny. What? <laughs> uh, shadow oh, dropping. Man. You don't know that already. You guys are talking about oh, when you release a. But uh, I think DVD I think we talked about something's dropped that, that day. It it's shadow dropping. It's pooping under a tree. For sure. <laughs> what is it called when you poop through a box? Uh... <laughs> Package poop. 
package. Wow. Dropping pa- pa- package, I guess you got to close up the box. I've, I've heard people talk about Tape it that, up. That they've done that. Stick a, a stamp a s- on that son bitch and mail it <laughs> off. It's got to be a sturdy <laughs> box is what I hear. Yeah, you're not you know, gonna, they're going to fall right through. You know, when I started episode 41, I did not expect us to start talking about shadow dropping poop. So, <laughs> so yeah, but, but for, for real, like everybody out there, you have to be on the side that the sun's not on. So you have to be in the shadow. Uh, and you'll be okay. Right. So, anyways, the other person with us is, of course, Brian. How you doing, Brian? I am good. Confused. You are good. <laughs> You're good. You're getting shadow Enough dropped. Enough with the pleasantries already, though. We don't need pleasantries. Everybody's fine. The week was fine. Let's get on with it already. Let's go. We're texting each other all through the week, so. Yeah, but I still got to ask how you guys are doing. Do you? Do you? Yes. Of course. Do you, do you care how we're doing? Of course, I care how you guys are doing. Do they? What kind of crazy doing? nonsense is that? As long as we show up every two weeks, these that means we're fine. don't If care. we didn't show up, we wouldn't be fine. <sighs> Terrible. Oh. All right, so Kenny's so persistent on us moving forward. Um, we have a lot to talk about today. Uh, as we talked about a couple months ago or a month or so ago with uh, Comic-Con, uh, D23 is the hot spot for Star Wars news. What Ryan uh, called during Comic Con hot garbage, which is no longer hot garbage because it's actually important stuff. Um, it's not longer like toys and books. A lot of big Marvel stuff was released. Um, if you're listening the, to this podcast and you don't know what D23 is, what the fuck, people? You'd be what surprised the fuck? Who, who does and doesn't know. Um, okay, so the Clone Wars season seven uh, has a release window of February of 2020. It gives us a break from the Clone Wars, which is nice. February 2020, it could be, you know, end of the month, beginning of the month. But, you know, by the time that hits, we'll have, you know, seen Rise of Skywalker. We'll have seen the entire Mandalorian. And uh, it will actually give us more to talk about, which is cool. So what do you guys think about that? I, I'm i excited for Mandalorian. Well, I know you're excited, but the fact that Clone Wars is coming pretty much straight after Mandalorian, which is cool. Well, I like it. I I like the fact that hopefully we should have something going all the time. We should go from Mandalorian into Clone Wars. Hopefully Clone Wars ends, and then we go into uh, Cassian Andor, and then that ends, and then we go into Obi-Wan. So, I mean, hopefully we've got something going all the time. Exactly. And honestly, I need... I don't know if you could tell, and well, I, I made it perfectly clear... I need a break from Clone Wars. Um, you know, it was starting to affect my scores. So a break where I'm not watching Clone Wars every two weeks, four episodes, um, is much needed. So um, maybe in February 2020, I'll be ready to roll again with the Clone Wars. But yeah, I was very in need of a break. And What was your thoughts on the episodes we reviewed last week? <sighs> they were fine. I mean, th- trying to remember the, from the first time I watched them... You know, I, I, they were fine, really. I, the, the, like the force stuff and the force ghost stuff and stuff like that. You know, it was kind of cool to learn and, and to see Yoda doing that stuff. But honestly, I could do without it. I don't feel like I needed it. Not that, you know. Because Nick felt it was the most important. No, I get it. Yeah. I, when he said that, I'm like, well, I don't know about that. But you're, well, I should more correct myself. To your opinion. I I think it's one of the important arcs. I shouldn't. I probably misspoke when I actually said that, which is my fault. Uh, But like I said, it was in the moment. Basically, it's Yoda learning how to be a Force ghost, which, I mean, there's other Force ghosts out there, and they didn't get a fucking arc. Yeah. So there's, there's also, you know, speaking of Star Wars news, there's a book coming out that was. It's called, like. Queen's Gambit? No. No. I. I don't know what the fuck it's actually called. It's something like mysteries, terrible, of, okay. mysteries of the Jedi or secrets of the Jedi or something like that. And it's supposed to be like in universe written by Luke Skywalker. And in it, he's talking about how his father learned how to become a force ghost, basically. And I don't, I don't know that I'm how, when, buying this. Wait, when, when would Luke have written this book? Like when he was doing the... I believe, he was doing a I believe drop. in story, <laughs> I believe in story, he wrote it while he was on, he was sequestered on Octu. So somewhere out there, then, um, you know, Anakin has been dropping in on Luke. <laughs> Can he ruin exactly. the whole episode? 
<laughs> exactly. No, I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm trying not to. Laugh. Uh, so anyway, but no, for real. So you know, yeah. w- uh, off screen, unseen is is Anakin stopping by, saying and hi, shadow dropping, on shadow Luke. dropping on him <laughs> behind right. the force tree, <laughs> right on his face. Uh, <laughs> do, you, do you need a beer? Oh my god! Oh, Jesus Christ! Yeah. So so anyway, I don't know what so we're talking about anyway. I. I I w- I'll have to send you the excerpts. There's like a four page, uh, I think, like excerpt release that they did. And you'll have to read this shit. But. Cool. OK. Yeah, that you, sounds awesome. I, it's something I would like to explore. But I'm interested in, in that. Yeah, I'll send it send it my way. You're interested in a book that's written by Luke Skywalker. Yeah, they should do that more often. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> you, do you think like um, as Luke Skywalker's writing, the more the more he's on Octu, like the crazier the writing gets? So it just turns into gibberish at the end, and it's just like, eh. like some girl just showed up yesterday. <laughs> she gave me my old lightsaber, and I just fucking threw it away. <laughs> and then wow. some porgs were playing with it. I don't know what's going on. I don't know who she thinks she is. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! She's trying to give me this lightsaber. I haven't touched the damn force in years. She just rolls in <laughs> like she owns a place. <laughs> damn SJW! I, I felt this power. I don't know where it's coming from, but I'm scared of it. He he couldn't uh, feel it though, cause he he was cut off from the force. <laughs> this SJW showed up on Octo. She brought uh, Chewy. Nice to see him. <laughs> yeah, he was eating some of my porgs the other day. <laughs> the funniest part is that, like, why are they all speaking in a southern accent? <laughs> it's like Cowboy Luke over here. Well, I'll go out and first eat some porgs, but goddamn, he ate them all. <laughs> I want to get me some KFP, <laughs> Kentucky Fried Pork. Oh my God! Well, so off the rails so, already. <laughs> love it. So, so we got a season seven of the Clone Wars coming in February of twenty. Well, that's what we were talking about. <laughs> I think so. Uh, it should be fun. That that'll give us some time to kind of rest our laurels with Clone Wars, which I know Kenny's looking forward to yes. not talking about. I don't about like to while. rest on my laurels. Though. Yeah, well, that's the story of my life. <laughs> Resting on my laurels. <laughs> I'd like but, to uh, uh, <laughs> laurel and hearty handshake. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, so moving on to, like, the least important to the most important. The next one is uh, that we got our first official look at the uh, First Order Jet Trooper, which uh, is keep, pretty cool. You it's, keep trying to... Fucking jam this jet trooper. Wait, that's down the most things. important? No, that is not the most no, important. No, le- I went from least important to most important. So, like, Clone uh, Wars is like least important because we know it's coming, and then the jet order. Okay, so that's the the second I would put the least important. Imp- I would put the jet trooper as the least important. Okay, so. Like, didn't anyways. we talk about this before? Well, I thought you talked we about did, this but last we week. didn't get. We got our first actual look at it. It's really cool. I think it's really cool. I, I wanted uh, to bring it up. I don't know. I'll just To me, they all look the same. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, it's got I mean, a, it's got a trooper on the back. It's got a trooper in the back. The true the plane uh, the jet pack in the back that flies around. But that's what we talked about before. All right, all right. <laughs> yeah, you guys. I'm pretty. I sure was trying to bring was... it up. I thought it would be cool to talk but about. You, but you finally saw it, right? It's yes, all... that's what okay. I was bringing up. I saw the toy. The, the uh, that was leaked online. Apparently, uh, Toys R Us in Canada put out some. Uh, galaxy of, of adventures of the five inch figures and uh you know there's a street date for those which is triple force friday but they were already on the shelf in canada so some pictures of those already leaked and are you uh not, you're impressed. not getting them from... not impressed the metric system for uh um, release dates. i put in the show notes but you know the mandalorian funko is going to be available for friday yes i saw that That's i wanted cool. to tell cool. you that because you seem really excited to get. I must that. have missed that part of the, the show notes. It's a. It, oh, the, I, I do. I added it. It wasn't really that important. So oh. the the uh, Mandalorian pop that was available at D twenty three was just an early release, so it will be available. Cool. Okay. Uh, that's later. probably one I'm gonna get. For sure. You yeah, know, I haven't gotten. I haven't gotten the last two waves. Like I, I think I got one or two from the Jedi wave, the Return of the Jedi wave, but I didn't. 
I I didn't get that wave, and I didn't get the one before that with the um the second last Jedi wave with like the crystal fox and the. I ha- I have a crystal critter. Uh, crystal a crystal fox, critter. Whatever they are. Yeah, I didn't get that wave, and I didn't get the Return of the Jedi wave. And I don't think there. I don't know that there's been one since. I think that was. The oh, last you didn't get like the lightning. No, Darth yeah, Vader they had the and... lightning fingers. Um, was that the last wave or? Yeah, as far as I know. Glow in the dark, Vader. Glow in the dark, Palpatine. I mean, other than the ones that you got me, which was the the, the lightning fingers, the nippets. Oh yeah, you got me that one, and you got me lightning. Lightning fingers, Vader, I think. But that's not lightning fingers. That's just lightning Vader, right? You didn't get me lightning fingers, Emperor. No, well, I don't have lightning fingers, Emperor. So. Yeah, so like th- that wave. Other than the ones that you got me, I haven't gotten any. Yeah, yeah I uh, I have the Han Solo and the Vader and the Lightning Fingers Palpatine. Yeah, so um, okay, so the next story is uh the Mandalorian. Yes, that's what we're all here to talk has a about. Trailer released that one that some reason Brian refuses to like or didn't like or I don't understand no, why I you just, don't like I, it. It's not that I don't like it. I. I watched the YouTube videos after Celebration, and I thought the stuff that they showed there was more impressive than that trailer. Why would you watch that garbage? Mm. Because I had to. No, why do you have to? Just wait. Because I couldn't wait. I don't need some fucking guy with an iPhone, like, recording some screen from... 75 fucking yards away. the, the The one I watched wasn't that bad, but I... I I had to watch. I had to know. I had to. Had to. What did that get you? It got me to be unimpressed by the trailer that came out <laughs> a couple days ago. Why would you want that? I was impressed. Is it because and I didn't watch those... the other thing? So, well, see, that's the thing. <sighs> so, is it because there's no space battle in this trailer? Because there was a space no, battle. No, I in think the last it's trailer. because there wasn't a lot of dialogue. That was cool, though. I, I, I noticed that, and I'm like, oh, there's no dialogue till like, the end. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. So I don't want a bunch of dialogue. I do. I want a cool, like, catchphrase. Revenge of the line. Sith, which we'll get into, you, if it had, like, 50% less dialogue, 60%. it'd probably be way better. <laughs> That's a fantastic movie. Oh, all right, we'll get into that later. But whatever. so, okay, so you do realize like half that half that thing you watch is like a clip from the movie, right? Or a clip from the TV series? Like that's not the actual trailer. The trailer that they showed is doesn't have dialogue in it. Well, uh, whatever. I'm just saying, like what I watched, there was I don't know seven or eight minutes of shit from Celebration, and I watched it all, and, and that made me excited. And then, then I watched this trailer, and I'm like, yeah, okay. Well, no, like I'm playing the trailer right now, and like, for, yeah, it starts out. You have stormtrooper helmets uh, on spikes in the sand, and you have the and ship. The, what the is Lucas the ship film called? Logo the Mandalorian. And <laughs> yeah, and you got screen. the Mandalorian. See ship. that? But how ship. Do, honestly, Brian, though, the, the, this, just this stuff looks cool. They got some shit on a table. There's an old man in a weathers. Yeah, I mean, yeah, old man weathers. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go in his yard. Old man Weathers. You got him coming out to poop. There's what's her face. Shadow like dropping her. You got a, <laughs> a Twi'lek. And then, like, Jin Erso in a pond. Was that Jin Erso? No, that's not Jin Erso. No. It's he's dead already. <laughs> so you got, you got, like, the Mando's, like, gun that we saw from the holiday special? Yeah. I mean, I, I'm not saying I, I'm, not, like, it's cool. It's just I was expecting more, so I you guess. got some space battles. You got some old-ass stormtroopers or... Yeah, IG eleven with Taika Waititi. Look at this guy gets cut in half, or at least it looks like they got the yeah, yeah, that's carbonite. You got Werner Herzog, which nobody knows. I don't don't know who he is. The Woman DeLorean, the sequel. The The Man DeLorean. DeLorean. I mean, Disney Plus for seventy dollars a month. Seventy dollars a year. Get it right. Or yeah, seventy dollars a year. It, it, it's worth seventy dollars a month. It's, it's, it's sold, it's no, sold it for that much. I don't know about that. <laughs> but it shows you every major character from the TV series. It shows you Gina Carano. It shows you the Mando. It shows you Carl Weathers. It shows you IG Eleven. Who's your favorite actor, director? Taika Waititi or Taika Waititi? Taika Waititi. 
Yeah. It shows you like space that battles. Woman. It shows you that they actually spent money on a TV series that's not Rebels. Rebels, you know, had kind of a cheap style to it. Will this you one stop? Actually looks like they spent some real you money. You have on no it. right to talk about Rebels. It doesn't. First off, you're, you're gonna, gonna fucking it. fall in love I've with seen, Rebels. I've seen a few two episodes, episodes of, it. of yeah. this podcast. You're gonna soon. fall in love. I've seen like the first two okay, episodes. So maybe you'll fall in love with Rebels in four episodes of this podcast. Yeah. All right, Rebels is fine. Stop, stop talking shit about Rebels. The this trailer though was really exciting to me. Like I, this. Not like Resistance. When I saw Resistance, I was like, oh, I can't wait to talk about this every freaking show. This, and especially since they're releasing it weekly and not all at the same damn time. Yeah, I'm excited like, for that. I'm too. very excited to watch The Mandalorian and talk about it every show and review it every show. Hopefully that's the way we're going to do it. But what just happened? You're fine. What? Just keep talking. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, I was anyways, like, what so, happened? No, I'm very excited to watch it every... I turned you and I off. Okay. Okay. All right. Wow. Is that better? Yeah, but I was like used to listening to myself in my earphones. <laughs> anyway, um, what was I saying? Uh, it, yeah, I'm very excited to, to to listen to it or to watch it every week, and I, hopefully that we record it every mm. week, or we not record, we talk about it every week that we're on the show. Are we going to yeah. review it live? Or are we going to review it? Well, yeah. yeah. I mean, like, you, you and like I two episodes watch every. Nick only watches. Oh, stuff yeah. 10 Nick's going to so. not watch it for. You you do realize six I'm going to watch from this now. Live, Nick's going right? to watch it. Yeah. So I've been waiting for this show since they announced it. So I, I've I'm been waiting for. I'll watch I've been all waiting episodes. for this show since before they announced it. I've been waiting for you to watch Rebels since before they announced Mandalorian. And I've been waiting for us to get to Rebels, but we still have two movies to get to. So you thought we were going to get to Rebels next week. For some reason, I thought Solo ran concurrent with uh, yeah. Rebels. I can't remember my time frame. Is but anyway, off. for real though, like um, this trailer looked really good. I, I don't, you know, Brian. I guess you saw some other stuff. I don't really partake that much in fan in. shot iPhone videos with lightsabers waving in front of them. Yeah. I didn't have lightsaber because I would have turned it off if I would have seen that. Yeah, it would have taken me right out of it. Like this, like they, they, th like oh, they, this guy's up. Like so, while he records it, it's so shaky for whatever reason. Like, come on, I don't need that. But no, this trailer looked really. Mine good. was mine was professionally filmed. I think. I guess I'm on I the, the I'm Here's on the CD part filmed. of the internet watching my videos. So. Yeah, you got to get out of that CD <laughs> area. <laughs> I don't know where to find this stuff. <laughs> we send it to you. You just don't watch it. What me no, or Kenny. Kenny? Like we send him quality stuff. Oh. He just. I don't doesn't remember you sending that to me. I probably just like yeah, I'm not I probably that. just knew you wouldn't watch it, so I didn't <laughs> bother. So, uh, but yeah, like I said, it looks like they spent all all hundred million dollars nicely. It looks like it's gonna be a winner for Star Wars. I agree. Um, I'm excited for it'll, it. It'll be a winner among Star Wars fans. I don't know how many people are gonna sign up for Disney Plus and say I want to watch The Mandalorian. You know what? You know what's funny about that? So they they talked about all the Marvel content. And more people were excited, of course, for the Marvel content than they were for the Mandalorian. But people were still excited for Mandalorian, so they're all excited for that Mandalorian. I like Marvel, but I really couldn't tell you anything that they announced for Marvel. Hello, Jason. Hey, man, you're live on Trench Run. How are you? Oh, that's great. Hi. I'm good. How you doing? It's probably not a good time, but I wanted to ask you if you've seen the Mandalorian trailer. I have, actually. What did you think about the Mandalorian trailer? I thought it was uh, pretty cool. Okay. Actually, uh, it piqued my interest. It did? Yes. Okay, cool. So what part of the Mandalorian? <laughs> I feel like a, like a survey taker. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Is this the, uh, what do you call the... Uh... Survey anyway, tickers? No, those uh, annoying people that call your phones. And... Oh, I am a telemarketer. Uh, there you go. How do you feel about your Wi Fi? Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, well, if you want to switch, give me a call. Well, I will. But no. <laughs> oh, no, no, absolutely not. All you got to do is turn it off and turn it back on again. Just push the button for, for 10 seconds or whatever, and then you're good to go. <laughs> I'm also in the middle of a uh, wife draft here. I I'm sorry. I figured you were. You seemed like you were distracted. I just wanted to call you, ask you, uh, anytime you want to join the show. Who'd you pick? You didn't pick Andrew Luck, did you? I did. Was that not a good pick? No, that was a terrible pick. Don't pick him. 
You should probably drop him. Oh, All right, man. Just right. want to let you know how you felt about the uh, Mandalorian trailer. Give us a call. No, go ahead. No, that was the only question. They actually, uh, I didn't, I didn't announce that I was about to do this, so I just decided I'm gonna call Jason and put him on the show. Right, well, <laughs> okay, well, hold on, I, I have, I have something to ask. Okay, and yeah. I'm sure, Brian has the answer. Brian's here. Right. Yes. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I know you just said I was live, so I'm assuming he was there. <laughs> so it, there was this part where they showed the, the, uh, the, uh, the. Uh, What's that thing? The, the carbon, carbonite, right? Where they, they froze some dude, whatever. It's metal. Whatever it was. And, but I could have sworn in the um, Empire Strikes Back when they did that, there was something they said, we don't know if it's going to work. But now they're showing it way back in the day with Boba Fett. This is post, they, post they, Empire Strikes Back. This is what? This is post Empire Strikes Back. This is after, this is five years after Return of the Jedi? Are you, really? Yeah. Oh, I thought this was like way before because he's all shiny and looking new and stuff. Alright. Okay, well that makes sense then. Because I thought it was Yeah, it's not Boba Fett. It, it's just kind of contradictable with Fett. Well it, well, it looked like him. We just assumed it was. I only saw it one time. Who is we? Watched it at work. Uh, me and some guys at work. Oh, fucking new Kenny. <laughs> this is new Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, all right, yeah, no, man, um, just wanted, what about, uh, did you see anything else from, are you gonna get, are you gonna be a Disney Plus subscriber? I don't know, that, that's, Amanda probably want to do that, so. It's I'll seven bucks, man. Yes. Well, I know, it's just, we have everything on Showbox and stuff like that. So. You're live, so, man, we don't want the, we don't want the. <laughs> we don't want the feds cracking down on you. <laughs> I, I have other streaming services, but. All, maybe, all 15 we'll listeners. Okay, cool. Well, yeah, I'm sure the feds are. Well, listening. we got you. I, didn't, I like I said, I didn't want to take you away from your fantasy <laughs> draft. I, um, but do you have anything else you want to you want to bring to the show? Uh, no, I did read the leaked uh, uh, script. Oh, I can't talk to you about new. that. Okay, so then. Well, I don't know, but like, go ahead. Know. Maybe is there a leaked script out there? That's what I read. So I, I'm assuming it's a leaked script. Well, it was, you know, it may not be spot on, but was it a porn? <laughs> it wasn't me. It could be. Okay. Cool. All right, man. Uh, <laughs> thanks for thanks for uh, pleasuring me here. <laughs> and uh, you know, make sure you listen to the next uh, episode of Trench Run. That's usually my job. <laughs> you did. You did. Thank you for flick, flicking my bean. <laughs> All right, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh my question. god. Yeah. Just call you out of the random blue? Okay, will do. Yeah, that's fine. My, uh, my draft's over here anyway. Oh, I'm shit, okay. Good luck to whatever you're calling your team this year. Don't know. You know sure it has something to do with the beautiful Jays or something. <laughs> the beautiful Jays. Beautiful Jays is my default name. The B, the BJs. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, okay, man, see you later. Never fails. All right, guys. All right, bye. Oh, man. So, so Kenny, I think you just got us 10 more listeners with that call. <laughs> I'm like, you know what? Let's just call Jason. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I have no idea what we were talking about before, though. Uh, no, we were still in The Mandalorian, but yeah, no, that was good times right there. Um, <laughs> the Man Delorean. DeLorean. There we go. So, yes, so Mandalorian comes out November 12th on Disney+. Plus. But only one episode. We'll have it. Wow, that was really loud. Yeah, but that'll give it much more... Uh, Leave more room open for us to experience it longer. Jason may or may farther, not get faster. it. He's not sure yet. Even though he has more kids than we do. <laughs> All combined. <laughs> he has <laughs> twice the kids that we do. Oh, my God. But he doesn't have a Star Wars podcast. No, Just ours. <laughs> he's he's guest starred on ours. Um, <laughs> uh, three times. Well, no, yeah, twice. Th- three times now. Yeah, this is his third appearance. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Yep. So okay. So Mandalorian, Disney Plus. Um, I'm sold. Um, did you like any? Yes. I say, are you? You're yes, definitely sold. absolutely. You've been sold since they announced yeah. Mandalorian. Okay. So here's a question that I have for Brian more because he follows the continuity of Star Wars more than me and Kenny. This was something I noticed when they were. Hey, 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 hey. I'm trying to help you out, Kenny. Okay. Actually, I'll, I'll leave this to Kenny too. Um, okay. So Star Wars has officially given three different eras. 
the prequels are the Age of the Republic. Um, the original material is the Age of Rebellion. And Star uh, sequel trilogy is Age of Resistance. Any thoughts on that? Um, I thought that was kind of interesting. Uh, I don't think it's any surprise. I mean, there was just a whole series of comic books basically mm-hmm. called the same thing, Age of... But, oh, okay. I mean, I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll always refer to it however we want to refer to it. If we're talking about... I mean, they can't... Re- they, I don't know if they can refer to it as original trilogy, sequel trilogy, prequel trilogy. So you got to call it something. And I think that's as good of a name as you can come up with. Yeah. It's I mean, pretty I, straight I, on. I agree. But, I mean, uh, like, am I going to refer to it as that? I don't know. Like, It's got to catch on. Yeah, because just so used to calling it sequel trilogy or prequel trilogy. Yeah. Would you... Um... Would there be any other names you would give it? Do you think those are good enough? I think or? they're fine. I, it's just I found it kind of interesting that they came up with those names. Old Star Wars, 90s Star Wars, now Star Wars. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I, other than other than calling it original trilogy, prequel trilogy, sequel trilogy, I don't think there's anything else you could have come up with. Like, I mean, I think those are are those are perfect like in in canon names of the eras. Are you asking me? or Are you saying? Uh, did I have a fucking question mark after my statement? It, it sounded like you had a question. It wasn't a question. It was a fucking statement. But if he was asking you, what would you oh, okay. answer? <laughs> I don't know. I, I thought they were cool. I, I was just curious at what you guys saw it. So. But, I so think you, it's you a good era name. But you don't You don't have a other than I think they're cool. You don't have anything else? Uh, I mean, you, if you want to do like the dark side, you could be like Age of Sith, Age of Empire, Age of First Order or something like that. But these these are probably better. They, <laughs> yeah, they, there was no. Yeah. I, I don't know. I'm not really good at naming stuff. Yeah, uh, obviously. I like Age of First Order. Maybe no. I don't know. Anyway, a- Age of Tacos. I don't know. Okay, so this is one that Brian brought up to me and Kenny today. Um, I thought it was hilarious. So yesterday they released the Rise of Skywalker poster for D23. Um, and then Brian sent us in text that showed. That not only was this poster not really that original, but it used a hot toy image of Palpatine or Darth Darth, uh, Darth Sidious. Yeah, Palpatine. Yes, thank you, Darth Sidious. Um, which I thought was really funny because it just shows you once again that Disney is kind of very unimaginative with their posters. Yeah, I, I was I was just so, doing my daily scan of Jedi Temple Archives website, and they posted a they posted a picture with the the hot toys. Emperor Palpatine, and it was like spot on for the emperor that's in the background of that poster. Like they have to know better. I, you you have to think they they know better. Like what is that? Like <laughs> come on, guys. You know your fan base. You would hope you know your fan base. Like, like come like, on. Guys. Like really. Like it took less than a day, I think, for somebody to figure out that. That emperor is, is terrible from, from a freaking action figure. You know, it's kind of sad about the last Jedi teaser poster that I have hanging up in the back of my uh, uh, my room right here. You know, that's almost like a rip off of Tron. I just noticed that. You remember the original Tron poster? Anybody? Well, considering neither of us can see that. Okay, poster. you know which one I'm talking about. The one with uh, Ray's holding up the lightsaber and two both sides. Yes. Yeah. I get yeah. It. So it looks very similar to the Tron in a way. It's not the it's not the one that I have hanging. No, up. no, no, no. That's just a bunch of heads on a poster, 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 <laughs> a poster. A poster. Yeah, just look up the original Tron poster. It's it's this yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. That he's talking oh, about. Oh, okay. So that is the or- original Tron, not Tron Legacy. No, I'll show, I'll show. Tron 1982 poster. It was such a terrible movie. The movie's awesome in a terribly great way. I, I'm not a fan. Oh, well, it's hard to be wrong. Is this one right here? It's not exactly the same, but you see how similar it is to the. I don't really see the similarity at all, other than there's a lightsaber in the middle. Yeah, but with the light and stuff like that. No, I I, I see yeah. it though. I see the with the yeah. I'm not saying it's exactly the same, but I, I just thought about that. I'm like. Yeah, it's it's. It's a great poster. I love that Last Jedi poster well, to death. Pull, but... No, it it's I see it yeah. though, and on your YouTube channel when you post this, maybe you could post both pictures. Yeah. Uh, I'm not seeing it. No, I see it just because of the thing shining up. It could be an homage. I mean, it could be uh, just them doing a cool retro feel to it. A homage. 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 What do you, I mean, outside of the hot toys garbage that they put in there, what do you think of the actual poster? Like, do you think it's cool? Do you think it's just, do you think it's something you put on your wall or do you need that final poster? I, I'm not putting that on my wall. That's not the final poster? No. 
That's like the the final poster will look something like one of those two. It probably look exactly like one of those two. Oh, with all the people in it. Yeah. And so it's not that first thing that was out like six weeks or six months ago with the one that just said Star Wars. But no, I had like three uh, PO with like a bowcaster and stuff like that on it. Yeah, that was actually something they were probably going to release at Celebration, but they never did because it got spoiled. So I mean, that could be something like that. Yeah, it's just the same with all the people on it. But I mean. The original teaser poster was just, it said Star Wars Rise of Skywalker in the middle. And Nick probably has all of those. That was blue. No, I don't. I don't like the, I don't, I don't like posters like that because it's just a bunch of writing. It's just words. Yeah, it's just I words. I can read like, them, so I, I don't could like do them. that. I don't read good. <laughs> no, I mean, I could, I could literally do that myself on Photoshop and be done with it. It's just, it's such a lazy teaser poster. It's not like the fucking Vader with Anakin, you know, Vader's shadow or. That's a fucking classic. I, I like. Or I don't the, care what anybody says. That poster was fantastic. It is, or it's like the Revenge of the Sith one, where you can, where it has like the Darth Vader shadow or Darth Vader whatever on his cloak, and there's like several different Vader pictures and mapped into that, fo- you know, that picture and stuff like that. So I'm not or, sure what you're talking about on that one, but no, like no, that, no. The re- that episode the re- one poster where he's like in, on Tatooine and his shadow is Darth Vader. That's fantastic. Me, uh, let me bring up the. Yeah, I agree. It's a great one. Let me bring up the teaser poster. Hold on, a second. okay. You see it right here. That's nice. Yeah, but you can see the Vader helmet. But apparently, there's like several Vader helmets in here somewhere. I don't think I've ever seen that poster in my life. Really? It's a. Yeah. It's a awesome. Actually, I I uh, got the movie theater I worked at to give that poster to me for free. They don't do that shit, but I can't remember what the Attack of the Clones one was. Attack of the Attack of the Al Clones. The Al Clones? Al Clones? Al Clonos? Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't like this one. It was yeah, it's dumb. I don't like, like sand. It's like the stuff about sand. <laughs> it gets everywhere. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I said, it's still a cool poster. I like the the you know it looks like Ray and Kylo. Kylo has his helmet back, and they're fighting on maybe portion of the Death Star. And you see like the red cracks of the uh, whatever Kylo and. Behind Ray is like the blue lightning and blue made flames or something like that, which is really cool. Yeah. It's okay. Like, so your... for me, honestly, I can't get past the fact that the Emperor face is an action figure. Well, okay. Let's just get, let's get past the Emperor I, face. I can't. Like, I can't get past that. He just said he can't. can't. All right. I I, think, I still think it's still a pretty decent poster, but I so I will. Fine. If this, you can't this, get past it, I won't. I this won't poster that. will never be hanging in my house. Just because of that. You wouldn't have hung it up in your house anyways, would you? I have two sequel trilogy posters. I'm sorry. Age of Resistance posters hanging up in my room here. Nice. Good. Good. No, great. I'm talking about those are the those are the final posters though. Okay, but this is a like this isn't the final poster. I'm if just this saying poster is offered on Disney Movie Rewards, I am not getting it. But let's say it was it wasn't the Hot Toys, would you still buy it? If it wasn't Hot Toys, if Palpatine. there was a regular old Palpatine so you think back if there, it was a Hasbro Palpatine. I might get it. That's what I'm asking. If it didn't have, if that wasn't the Hasbro picture, in the it's not Hasbro. Of it's Hot Toys, and I don't collect Hot Toys. If it was just a picture of freaking Palpatine, would you want it? Eh, I don't think. Yeah, so. it wasn't the Hot Toys but logo. I can't, I it was can't just... get past the fact that it's Hot Toys. That's not now. what I'm I asking. I can't though. unsee that. Well, that wasn't what I was asking though. You're, but I mean, I'm just telling you, I can't get past the fact that it's a freaking I, action figure in the background. Could you get past the shadow that. dropping? There's no tree. <laughs> okay, so let, let's just move on. All right, because so the for me, Nick, Nick's not getting it. Like I can't get past. I, the I fact get what that, you're saying. I under I so, understand where you're getting it. You can't get past the idea of that being a Hasbro figure. I'm just saying. If no, it it's not a Hasbro. Hasbro. It's a Hot Toys. Hot, Hot Toys what, is not what, Hasbro. Whatever. Hot Toys. Whatever. I'm just. I'm just. My point was. Would you still, if that was not the Hot Toys picture and it was just a Palpatine on the poster, would you buy it? That's what my question was. Probably we'll move not. on, but I'm just, I was just Probably asking Probably not, that but, I, wasn't but I, I don't even know that I can answer that because I can't get past the fact that that's what it is. I don't think the poster's that great anyway, to be honest with you. It's just a Thank picture you, of, Thank of you. Uh, Ray and we've already seen I knew them I fight. We've you. already seen them fighting before uh, in freaking Force Awakens and... Okay, cool. They have a different platform they're on. They're on a freaking curvy looking thing that could be mm. the freaking um, the stupid Death Star. Fucking Death Star. And there's a freaking guy staring at him. So, like, it could be anything. So, we, okay, that's, 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 that was my question. Wait, so would you buy it if it wasn't 
had the cheating of the artwork or whatever. No, I wouldn't buy it either way. That, okay, that that was my question. <laughs> that's that's all I was wondering. So, anyways, um, okay. So the last official news story, the bi- I think is the biggest news story is something we've all kind of suspected that was going to happen, but is official now. Is you and McGregor. Probably yes. one of the best part about the prequels is officially coming back for episode or uh, uh, Obi Wan TV series. Brian, Brian. yes. Did you, what did you um, uh, ejaculate into the world? Did you shadow um, drop in your pants when you saw this? <laughs> uh, no, but I was excited. <laughs> I was very excited. Um, I love me some Ewan McGregor. Mm. Hello there. So, so when is this era supposed to be for this Obi Wan? Is it? It's stirring solo, right? I You're believe it is in the is? Uh, the Age of Rebellion, if I'm not mistaken. Age of, okay, so it was during so it was like before Rebels and during Solo. Do you think it's all going to take place on Tatooine? Okay, so what was your question again? No, I said, do you think this movie, this, I keep calling it a movie, but do you think this TV series is going to take place all on Tatooine, or do you think he's going to go off world? Dang, like, what's Tatooine. your feeling on? Ugh, why? You, you, yeah, I had to keep <laughs> talking. Dang, Tatooine. Anyway, so, um, no, why, why, I, as far as I'm aware, and maybe, uh, you know, you read more, more than I do, did he ever leave Tatooine? Like, wasn't his, his job to stay there and watch I Luke? do not want him to leave Tatooine. Do you think he's just going to play Sabacc for like a whole episode? But, so he doesn't obviously he play Sabacc. He just needs to fucking travel around Tatooine. Okay, so keep Luke my big question, being the new guy, you got books and there's other media out there. What the hell was he doing for all those years? He was obviously just creeping on some kid. Well, he was uh, he, he was, was learning how to become a force ghost. Apparently, okay, that's one thing. That's cool. Hopefully, we get an episode of that. But what else was it? Was there were there people visiting? Was he like, could he have like maybe come across? Well, I don't know. Probably not, because considering. But maybe, you know, oh, there's Han Solo over there. Um, maybe they probably don't come across each other. But like, what was he doing in that he, he time? Turning the shoe leather. Well, I mean, he knows that uh, Moss Eisley is a, a wretched hive of scum and villainy. So he so, probably spent a lot of time in Mos Eisley. Yeah, like okay. hanging out in the cantina, maybe. All right, that's wouldn't cool. It be, meeting all kinds of cool wouldn't it be people. Cool? I'm sorry, go ahead. No, just meeting all kinds of cool people in the cantina, uh, getting getting drunk. Um, that's my kind of life. Wouldn't it be cool to do like a Tales from the Cantina episode where he's just like listening to stories? He from probably does. Like, maybe he will. Exactly. See, that would be you, good. If you have an eight-episode series or whatever it's going to be, honestly, I, don't, I just don't it's know like what he was cheers. doing this whole time. He runs a bar like in Cheers. He becomes like uh, he's not running like the bar. He's just hanging out in the bar. What's up, everybody? Oh, he's also like, oh, he's like Cliff. He's, he, yeah, exactly. I was gonna say Norm, but exa- okay. same same thing. <laughs> like he's he's Norm. You know, he like walks into the bar and like everybody's like, oh, Obi Wan, Obi, the cheer. For right, him, uh, so. <laughs> his his stories become more uh, more exaggerated the more he drinks. Exactly. Yeah, the more he sits yeah. out in the sun. Yeah. Like Yoda goes from two foot tall to four foot tall just as he's <laughs> like during the conversation. Yeah, the whole entire prequel trilogy in Clone Wars is just him telling stories about it. Hey, maybe I like it. I like about it. him getting I, it I on with the it. Duchess. So uh, that's actually something that I do agree. I do think that they should. He should at least not. You know, like in the films, you, you don't hear anything about her. So like having some kind of a he should be crying love into his love interest milk. or like oh man, I'm so sad that you know of all the other things that have gone wrong. Uh, the Duchess has died. I didn't bang the Duchess. Yeah, he he tried to not to, and then he just didn't, never got the chance after that. So, um, those type of things. I want to hear more of that. Like, bring it. You could go into his past, his uh, like his young Obi Wan days. But I don't know if, if if you and McGregor could pull that off. I mean, I know with I mean, all the de aging stuff, that, maybe. Yeah, but like, if you and McGregor well, could play young you and McGregor. Well, no. Have you seen the way the technology is now with them de aging people? They spend the money. But if it's during, if it's if it's if the timeline is during the solo, you're only going to be able to do that in a flashback. But if it's during that time frame, there's going to have to be something going on at Tatooine, ding, that is keeping our interest. Ding, Tatooine. There it is. Ryan, Ryan is not on the ball today. Completely threw you off. But like, but but you have you have you read any books? Uh, that's the whole, my my point I wanted to get to. Have you read any books or any other media of him being on Tatooine and what's going on during this time? I have not. I, I don't know that there was or wasn't. Uh, I, is I, there no story, like comics or nothing of this time there frame? There could be. I just 
didn't read them if there were. There was a really cool hot toy of like a what if Obi Wan. I was. I don't like hot toys. If we haven't established I, that already, I understand that. That's not my point. I'm just saying there's a really cool hot toy of Obi Wan, like when he's in the desert with his like backpack and his light, his two lightsabers on his side. I could be the backpack while you run. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so there are. Everyone books. told me not to stroll on that beach. Said seagulls gonna come, poke me in the coconut, and they did, and they did. Thank you. And they did. Okay, so there time. is a. There are books of his time there. Uh, I believe one is called maybe Obi Wan, Kenobi, something like that. But I didn't read it, so I don't know. You didn't listen to it either. It's no, because it's it's uh, legends at this point. It was it was in that era where I wasn't really paying attention to Star Wars. So it was in the dark times. Yeah, it was in my dark times. So I didn't I didn't read the book. I didn't listen to the book, and and then it got wiped out of canon. So I never went back and. That'd be cool. I, so like in Rebels, obviously you see Darth Maul. I'm sure that won't get to that point, but it'd be cool if he's, he comes across other characters. There, come across Kira. Maybe Kira is strolling through the desert or, or something. Um, yeah, well, I mean, I okay. So my thoughts on this are: you've got Obi Wan. What he's supposed to be doing in the desert is looking over Luke, right? So how about you've got some maybe like maybe he's got to fight off some Tuscan Raiders in one episode, or or you know maybe maybe even the elite ones, the Tuskegee Raiders. But like he's got to <laughs> he's got to fight them off. You know, he's got to beat them off with a stick. Be <laughs> You have a whole uh, hour-long episode where he's beating off Tuskegee Raiders. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> he's got to beat them off, you know, because who else is going to do that? Who else is going to beat off the, the, Tus- the Tuskegee Raiders? Oh, my God. Oh my God. Um, it could be cool to have an episode, like, to see how um, uh, Owen and Baru kind of distance themselves from Obi-Wan, like, bring Joel Edgerton back. And who? Joel Edgerton played, uh, 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 what's-his-face, uh, Owen oh, Lars. Yeah, I mean, I think you gotta. I, I think you could have some episodes with uh, some interaction with Owen and Baru. Obviously, not old Owen and Baru because they're both dead. But like, so uh, you know, okay, Literally so you're gonna have Owen, or um, right, right. you're gonna have Obi Wan just like off in the distance, like creeping on a five year old Luke or whatever. Like in, in the uh, in the original Star Wars radio drama, there was uh, there was some there was some uh, references to. Stuff that Obi Wan did to uh, protect Luke. So I mean, some of those. Maybe okay, some of those that's, that's, that's what I want. I want to find out like what the precedent is of of him out there. If it's what it says in the books, that way we can kind of see what we're getting into. But that's the problem. Like none of that is canon anymore. Because just so. but all right. So like Obi Wan sitting in the desert around a campfire for ten hours. It's but, not like, why do you I'll... need a campfire in a desert? It's fucking hot. <laughs> like what do you he's gotta cook his but food, right? Cold at night. He's gotta cook his food, keep warm. Well, at doesn't night. he have an oven? And that, well, there's no plugs. There's no plugs. Is there gonna yeah. be an episode where he just builds his hut out of mud? He's just gonna like. He should have a hut by the time Solo comes around. Yeah, I mean, it's been he's ten been... years or something already, yeah. right? Like, yeah. And and you you mentioned that it was that it was in the same time frame as Solo, but it actually falls in between like the time the timeline of Solo. Like Solo's got the the timeline of. The Corellia escape, and then about well, three years later, right? Yeah, and then the heist or whatever. And this is taking place like in between there. Not that it really matters. I mean, it's basically, you know, all in that Age of Rebellion era. Well, here's here's actually the question I have. Do you think they're gonna they're gonna stop the show as when Darth Maul pops up to take on Obi Wan or? But that was in Rebels. That was it. it happened in Rebels, and it's so that was no, I, I know it happened later. in Rebels, but Rebels is, saying, you, Rebels is right before. Rogue One, A New Hope. So yeah, I know I understand so that. Ten I'm just saying. Later. Well, hello there. But they, no, they're not gonna. I mean, you're not gonna show it twice. You're not gonna have it animated and then show it again live action. So I mean, I'd be cool with that. But yeah, I would be too. But <laughs> go longer, but, longer lightsaber battle. Like if the show goes, if they do like three or four seasons of it, then not, maybe. Not Kenobi. It's not, not happening in the first season of like jumping Kenobi. the shark over there. Kenobi. Like jumping sharks. <laughs> in the <desert. laughs> He jumps a uh, he jumps a rancor pit, uh, a sarlacc, or a sarlacc pit rancor, not rancor. Oh, there yeah. is rancors. So you probably on, get uh, like Tatooine. Maybe you get a yeah. There's uh, rancors, but there's not a rancor pit. It's a rancor. Uh, he, sorry, sarlacc pit. Maybe so. you get a Jabba like 
uh, show up every once in a while or something, maybe. Yeah, exactly. Like he could he could be like fighting off Jabba people. So he could fight off Zero. Oh no, he's dead. He dead. He gone. He gone. But no, I'm I'm very excited. That's um, a good sound drop I should get. Yeah, he gone. But and and I'm sure Brian's very excited. I I definitely am. I, I like the time frame that they're in. I've always kind of wanted to know. Well, not always, but ever since I started watching. And paying attention and doing this podcast, I've been wanting to know what he's been doing in the desert for thirty years, for twenty years, or whatever it's been. So, I just don't. Been, uh, I just don't want him to leave. Raiders. I just don't want him. Yeah, he needs to beat them off. I just don't want. Uh, I don't want him leaving Tatooine. No, and I get it, but even then, like when he gets found, like in in New Hope. Oh, that's a name I haven't heard in a long time. Obviously, he'll have heard the name in not that long of a time if you have a series going on. Why? Why in God's name is he Ben Kenobi? Like Maybe we'll find he's, out. He's, he's doing everything to hide the fact that he is Obi Wan. And he's Everybody met. Knows. He's met the kid, right? Because uh, Luke met him. Oh, old Ben or whatever that old, that crazy old hermit. Like so, we show him meeting Luke as a little kid, walking him well, to school. Then, dropping yeah, him I off. guess I guess Luke's like eight years old at this. At the point exactly. The so series. you you they'll have met it, apparently because Luke in New Hope knew him yeah i mean like even in rebels you see like little kid running across the desert yeah remember so. that well, well no, uh, no sorry for the spoiler nick i didn't even hear what you said um well start fucking no. listening to me damn it <laughs> i was i was when you started saying rebels i uh turned you off uh no no um the, the other thing cool thing is the reason maybe he turned his name to ben kenobi or something like that is the inquisitors maybe they'll be their inquisitors they'll show up or something hopefully but, I mean, that gets into my... I have a complaint about uh, Revenge of the Sith that we'll get into that kind of covers into this a little bit, so... But, yeah, um, we'll move on, because, like I said, that's... We're pretty going pretty long on the news, but um, the, also the Cassian Andor series, I think, starting to film here. Did you say Cassian this year, Andor? Next year. Cassian Andor. You say Endor? Like, as in the forest no, Andor. Moon? Well, I said... Maybe it sounded like it's Endor, the but I said Andor. The forest mood of Cassian Andor? Yeah, that would be that would be an amazing title for that show, the, the forest, forest Moon of Cassian Andor. There you go, it's the Forest Bush. Uh, <laughs> That's cool though. So it's it's already started to film. No, no, it hasn't yet, but they're soon, very very soon. Same with so. Kenobi, soon. Yeah, well, Kenobi's going to be a, at least a year. I don't I don't see Kenobi being until like twenty twenty one at the earliest. When I struggle they... with prequels when I know that multiple people are going to die and when they're going to die. At least in in like the prequels of Star Wars, like you know, not all of them are gonna die right away. Like they still have another thirty years. Like how long could Cassie and Andor have? Really, he's only got a couple years, so you're gonna have to get through it quick. Yeah, before well, it starts getting look old. At, look at Star Wars Resistance. There's only two seasons of it, so they could probably do like two seasons and then kill off Andor. I don't know that that's because it's doesn't have stories to tell i think it's more just because nobody's watching it that's true that's what they actually that's exactly what they said uh, resistance got off to a rough start yeah it, it, it really and that, that that's what a whole like i get it you want to like introduce your characters and stuff but resistance should have got to the point a little quicker yeah i think resistance shows you the problem of what disney's doing with star wars where they're trying to make it more family friendly than it really should be um i don't know I don't know if you agree uh, with disagree. that or not, but... Uh, yeah, I disagree. Like, it, uh, it it has nothing to do with family-friendly. It can be family-friendly and still tell a good story. I think Star Wars itself, A New Hope, Episode 4... It was family-friendly. It was family-friendly, and it told a good story. Yeah, that's true. I don't know. Maybe, maybe they were just trying, like, maybe they... It's like, you know, because a lot of kids' TV shows only last, like, two or three seasons anyway, so... Maybe they're like, oh, yeah, this is it. We'll tell two seasons and be done with it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I, it certainly didn't live up to Clone Wars or Rebels. But it, it was coming into, and into it. Like maybe the second season will will really be, <laughs> like maybe it'll be fantastic or. And they were like, "What be. the fuck? It's yeah, gone. Like, Why'd they end this?" <laughs> That's the best. I hope they do. Yeah, and then everybody be clamoring for it for seven years to like bring it back in two thousand twenty eight. <laughs> yeah, or they'll just do it Firefly style and just do a movie Drop and a movie. be done with it. Exactly. Yeah. Even though you still haven't seen Firefly, uh, I think I saw the first episode. I've seen Serenity, the movie. Why would you watch a movie that's based off of Firefly? I don't know because it was in the theaters <sighs> and I went to see it and I saw Alan Tudyk die and it was kind of depressing. And Spoiler like, alert! I saw it all. 
Me too. Like, I don't, I don't get think it. Guys like, in a lot of movies. Kenny, would, Kenny told me watch Firefly, and I did. Oh, you did. Good. I, I see. I'm proud yeah, of you. So you know what? Nick apparently has way up. too much stuff to do. Maybe it'll show up on Disney Plus, and I'll actually be able to watch it. I don't have access to it. Honestly, anymore. probably the only show you've ever told me to watch that I haven't watched was Chuck, uh, which yeah, is like your God favorite show like, of all time. Yeah. But like, I, I watched Chuck. I watched. I was on Nick the set did of watch Chuck. Chuck. Nick was. Nick was. Uh, he watched probably all the Chucks. But you told me you were the one who told me to watch Big Bang Theory. You, okay. You've, yeah. There's been a bunch of shows you've told me to watch, uh, yeah, and I've watched. And, and Barry, you don't. Steer me wrong, and I don't steer you wrong. So we're good on that. Like, got We got a trust thing going on. Watch yeah. Righteous Gemstones. Uh, it's only one episode in, but you should watch it. I will. I'm sure I will. I, I keep forgetting that show's on air. I really want to see that because that's John Goodman in it. Um. Okay. So that's all news from D23. There was a lot of stuff to talk about. A lot of stuff. Going um. On. A lot yeah, of stuff. A lot of stuff. Kenny not as unhappy this time as he was the last time when it was. Star Wars news, like in Comic Con. Exactly. Well, no, we got like trailers and we got uh, Comic Con news sucked and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, no, I'm I'm excited. And by the way, like I was really impressed with verticality. Like super impressed. <laughs> like holy well, shit. Well, the fact that I knew that yes, word, or the like, fact that Brian cool didn't thing. know what that meant. And it made me think, like in in any space, whatever op thing, like nobody ever like when they go shooting off in the space, they go straight, and nobody ever goes up. Like what the fuck is up or down? <laughs> like nobody ever goes a, an actual like the up or down. So verticality, you could just go the same amount of distance up as you can straight in space. Yeah. I'm assuming because there's, so no, there's had no ceiling. You, had you heard the word verticality? Never had heard it. Yeah, this first so, time. Yeah. So you weren't like how is how you weren't you listening? But no, when you said listening to me, when like, you started bitching about it not being a word, I'm like, it's not a word. <laughs> it, and I'm driving, so I can't look it up or whatever. So, but I'm like, no. And I'm like, I know Brian's gonna look this up. He's gonna tell him it's not a word. But that didn't happen. And I was like, <laughs> so you weren't like, oh look, listen to this idiot. He doesn't know that word. I did, but then like when you pull no, but it I mean up, you it's were a thinking word, about, right? Am I, I'm right. About, it's yeah, a word, not right? about me. Yeah, like exactly. I'm like, this is not a word. Nick and his bullshit words. <laughs> like this. But it's actually a word, isn't it? It is, but like you can't spell it. Well, no, you're exactly right. <laughs> the fact that it, the fact that I said something that like those two no, guys I are was... actually way smarter than me didn't. Exactly. No, I was like really impressed by that. <laughs> no, got that I, right. I, I agree. Like, yeah, I'm like, oh <laughs> shit. Well, anyway, I wouldn't say that, but I was like, oh cool, new word. And you're talking about like the flying vertical or whatever. Yeah. And then I was thinking about it later, though. Like, well, really, that jetpack guy's flying horizontally, so it's really not. Well, yeah, I mean, but he can still he fly like the rocketeer up verticality, can... ver vertically. Vertically, yeah. I don't know where but verticality it's... comes in at, but. Because I mean, eventually he flies. It's a more fancy horizontally. Horizontally, <laughs> I guarantee horizontally is not a word. But horizontally, is if it is, oh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm astounded it, because I feel like the, I just um, made that up. It's the Greek usage of horizontal, horizontally, or it's a Greek. It's a Greek tragedy figure. El horizontal, horizontal. horizontally. <laughs> that's what, that's what that's what Obi Wan was doing to the Tuscan Raiders horizontally. Horizontally. Yeah, so, yeah. The, or the uh, Tuskegee hey, Raiders. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, okay. So Brian sent us a couple of videos. Um, I wanted to start out with something I found or was sent to me. There was this guy who was at Galaxy's Edge, I think, in Disneyland, and it's really funny because he started complaining about why there was no legacy characters, why there was like two stormtroopers, why the food sucked, why this, why that, and. I can understand the food sucking because it's Disney World. Food sucks usually at Disney World. But isn't the whole point of Galaxy's Edge to have a story? So not all the time are stormtroopers going to be there. How about you just There's jump no... right into the text? There's a video? A tweet. No, it's a text. No, I'm just saying there was a tweet. Huh. Tweet, whatever. Is he going to read this? No, I'm not reading. I'm just like making Would, would you like me to read it? If I'm a you good reader. like. He said it was a long tweet. Didn't you send it in the fucking trench run thing? Yeah, it's like way up there though. Okay, I'll read it. I'll go ahead and read it. So yeah, but you're not. Really um, are we gonna make fun of it while you read it, or are we gonna wait till after you? Read um, it? No, we can if you want. Yeah. Okay. You can react. Can we I'm make talking. fun of you reading it? <laughs> <laughs> if if you must, yeah, you're more than welcome to. But we can make fun of Brian reading it too. This was. <laughs> Shall oh, we no, take turns no. reading I, portions of it, like, somehow, like in school? Somehow, it's not in my. It's not in my list anymore. Here, I got it. Oh, you got it. Okay, so Kenny's gonna read it. <laughs> From what's this? social media thing um twitter instagram instagram 
So guys, I went to Galaxy's Edge at Disneyland LA. I wanted to give you my own honest personal opinion. Okay, so there was no familiar music being played. Stop. Uh, Stop. Uh, 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 uh. It's John Williams music and it's <laughs> they created their own score for the park. Score. Only two stormtroopers throughout the whole park, like WTF. And there's a picture there's a picture attached to the thing showing two stormtroopers. So I guess those Both are the of only them two are in the picture he saw during the whole the whole day. Nick? Oh no, I was gonna say, and it's part of a story too, so yeah. there was no sign, and I mean zero sign of any legacy characters or the characters we all love so much. Also it, it started it's between episode eight and nine. Thank you. Cool. Okay. The Falcon ride was pathetic. The food was disgusting and gave me the shits for three days. No joke. <laughs> Were they shadow That's... drops? <laughs> <laughs> you probably ate some uh, food at a cafeteria. There, he was know. shadow dropping for three days. <laughs> <laughs> this picture is actually is after three days of shadow he's, dropping. He's, yeah, he's healthy. It just didn't feel like Star Wars. I don't get why Disneyland, or I'm sorry, I don't get why at Disneyland, are purposely going out of their way to not give us. And, what and if we I want. recall correctly, he uses the wrong there. He every does, time. yeah, he does. Are purposely going out of their way to not give us what we want? Space exclamation point space. On paper, a Star Wars land should be the most amazing thing ever. Space period space, but they don't want to give us any Star Wars material. They want to push us on new Disney characters, which no one is invested in. No one. No one. Not give a us, single soul. Give us Star Wars, man. Star Wars, man? Who's that? It makes... <laughs> <laughs> Star Wars, man. <laughs> that should be our new podcast. Star Wars, man. It makes, on the streets. Yeah, exactly. It makes no sense to me at all. We all can vision uh, what it should be like, and it's not just not worth it space period space it sucked big time and i mean sucked wasted 150 dollars or i'm sorry 150 bucks i love so star already... wars dearly it isn't a hate post space comma space just telling you guys like it is disney please listen to us the fans at star wars at disney at lucasfilm so basically this is someone who is a big star wars fan Spent 150 bucks to go to uh, Galaxy's Edge, but has no idea what Galaxy's Edge. What is, is going on? Yeah, he didn't do any research prior. He's just no. like, "Oh, fuck, Star Wars, let's go." Oh, hey, we well, gotta go to Hoth and Dagobah and Tatooine, and there's there's just none of that. Yeah, there's a, there's a ride called Star Tours for that if he wants to go to those places. I want oh, legacy the, characters, damn it! I like, want, I'm like I'm telling my Carrie friend Fisher. who gave me, I'm telling a friend who like sent this to me. I'm like. One, it takes place between episodes eight and nine, so you're only going to see the sequel characters, or I'm sorry, the Age of Resistance characters, and the go. stormtroopers are probably part of the of the storyline. There's probably stormtroopers that come out every so often, looking for a rebel or a scoundrel or whatever. It's like I can actually I can kind of get the Falcon ride sucks because I've heard that many times now over that it's not great, but this guy just feels like it feels like one of those people that we talk about all the time where. He just doesn't want new Star Wars from Disney. He wants the old Star Wars, and that's not what we're getting. So yeah, and I think that's. I mean, I've read a, I've read some articles in the past week of uh, that the original ideas were were for original trilogy, Galaxy's Edge kind of stuff, and then Bob Iger saw uh, the Force Awakens and was like, "No, that's what we need. We need to put that." He literally in went. Galaxy. He went with the hammer. He's like, "No, with no. Like Thor's hammer." Sure. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. But I mean, <laughs> it, like even so, whatever it is, what it is, like. But that's the thing. There's just a lot of people out there that don't understand this, and they're gonna go and they're gonna be disappointed. Like, oh, I didn't see Luke Skywalker there. I paid 150 bucks to see Luke Skywalker, and he wasn't there. Damn it! <laughs> they want to see some old guy in a white beard. <laughs> Where's Carrie Luke Fisher? <laughs> Where the fuck is she? Why is where, there where? no Princess Leia? <laughs> <laughs> Where is Gary the dog? I want to see Han Solo. <laughs> how come? How come? Why didn't you read the? Why didn't you read the the post in that? In the I, Southern Fried Gentleman. <laughs> I want to know why every person that 
doesn't like Galaxy's Edge is a fucking southerner. <laughs> Why? I don't I don't see this Han Solo anywhere. <laughs> all of our oh. southerner listeners, we're all from the south, so like well, Nick is not. Well, no, you're not necessarily from we all live in the south. Right. right. We're not we all from live in the here. south. The deep, the deep south. Only one of us is from here. But yeah. anywho. But anyway, yeah, like <laughs> anytime anytime there seems to be a fan who doesn't like it, Ed, they're always they always seem to be from the south. Why? Uh, Why is there no Carrie Fisher, Princess Leia? They didn't record nothing. What's she too busy to do this? <laughs> She's one of them uppity Californians, and she can't come over here and be Princess Leia. That liberal bitch. <laughs> what is going on with? This is not my <laughs> Star Wars. Oh my god. I don't even know how to continue from that. I don't even know where we were going with this. It just No, we were just I, I brought up that Instagram post and then I think I forgot what we were talking about. <laughs> we were calling, we were talking about southern people. We lost all our southern subscribers. All all three of us have quit the podcast. Well, I mean, what if what if all of 17 of our peop- our listeners are from the south? Oh, I'm like screwed. I think some of them are from Ireland though, if I recall. Hey, you're good. The Maybe one from Japan. Those are, those are those Irish people are smart people. Konnichiwa, Japanese listener. Yes. Okay. Yeah. What he said. I got to. Mr. Robot. So Brian, tell us about these videos. Okay. So, uh, so okay. So, I just uh, I wanted to share this video. This is an opinion of a a Star Wars fan. This is a Star Wars hot take. So, I've scoured YouTube. Looking for some Star Wars fans out there, and well, I found this guy. He's got uh, he's uh, he's got 21 likes on this video, and uh, three dislikes, 270 views. So, is that uh, we're about to push him up to 271? Yeah, we're about to. Um, anyway, this is this is someone who he looks like he's about uh, I don't know. What do, you, what do you think, 14, 15 years old? He might be in the 17s. 17. So he, uh, he's he got a uh, red T-shirt and some glasses, and he is fired up about Star Wars bringing Legends characters into the Disney canon. So let's, uh, let's take a look at this video and uh, see if we agree. Hello, everyone. Um, I wanted to talk about... One like thing that a lot of wants to talk about. people pausing. who like the new canon, that, that but, would be me. You know, also like legends say. I don't know much about legends like, say, but I, oh, I like legends say. I want this character from legends to be canon. I don't think I've ever said I that. I want Revan to be canon. I need you to shatter drop. I want <laughs> Thrawn to be canon. Well, I want Thrawn to be. be oh, Thrawn wait. was made part of Disney Shatter-y canon. Wait, wait, he oh. was. I want Mara Jade to be canon. I want Kyle Katarn to be made canon. Oh. You're crying way too much. Oh. I've seen a lot of people say stuff like that. Who, Who have you seen? I wouldn't, yeah. Brittany, exactly. why? Like, um, Brittany, leave Brittany alone. YouTuber Dash <laughs> Star is one of those people. He's just like, oh, I just hope that this can be made canon. Okay. <laughs> YouTuber Dash Star? I don't think Legends characters should be made part of the new canon. It's a hot take. For one, hot take, folks. They aren't canonizing the character. What the fuck? Like, if they brought about? Revan, <laughs> I don't know it wouldn't Revan be is. the original Revan. It would just be a character that shares their name and looks like them. So it would be someone called I know Revan. this that, person. The, yeah, it looks like Revan canonized version of Revan wouldn't have the same experiences the Who's, same where the fuck is that dog? memories the, dog barking? the same struggles it would pretty much be a completely different control. character completely different so they wouldn't be canonizing who's Revan though for reals <laughs> Revan or Mara if they brought them over Mara. to the new canon it would just be a character that looks like them acts 
kind of acts like them. So it's the but fucking it be the them, character. guy. If a guy and a dweeby looking dude in the red Thrawn shirt and glasses, is, it's the, the same, new Thrawn is you. so different from the original. Like, would the original Thrawn Iron Inquisitor grab you and act like a psychopath if you insulted? I'm, I'm pretty Art? sure he would. Yes, because the new Thrawn in Rebels did that. No, the new Thrawn would be calm and collected. How do you fucking know that? Like, maybe he would grab you by the. Throat. I want to grab And another thing why I'm against I really want to know what's on his t-shirt. Uh, Legends characters into the Disney canon is because Lucasfilm said they wanted creative freedom. Okay, yeah, okay. Well, that doesn't mean anything. And it would show that they're not taking show. advantage of that at all. And it would show that they're lazy Pause in using the expanded the universe as a crutch to no. prop their new canon up no. rather than make something original. So he feels that... So uh, I gotta pause Just this. because... So, okay, so just because it existed before and you don't use it, it makes you lazy? Maybe they have their own creative ideas. This is, is that possible? Like this is, this is exactly like any kind of Marvel comics like using ideas in movies or DC comics using stuff in movies like just because the character well, exists in the comic books doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to translate to the same character in like like freaking Green Arrow for example Green Arrow in the comics is not the same Arrow that's on yeah. the Arrow TV series or you mean when they like reboot the whole entire DC universe and make it different yeah like how about how about Batman 1989 versus Batman Christopher Nolan versus Batman Ben Affleck. Where there's two flashes, like, right now. There's, like, a movie flash and a TV flash. Like, come on. Yeah, like, exactly. So, okay, I'll unpause. Open your eyes. I don't think Legends characters should be brought into the new canon at all. They should just make something original. PowerPoint. And <laughs> PowerPoint. just stop <laughs> ripping off things from the EU, too. So, what do you think? Do you want them to bring PowerPoint, PowerPoint, PowerPoint. characters, or I mean, old characters from Legends into the new canon? Do you think they shouldn't? Uh, let me know and give me a like, right, a comment, and a subscribe. Like, where are you? Like, are you in your, like, Have a good day, people. Or something? Like, what is going on? I know. Here? That's what I want to know too. It's back to school sale time at Rooms to Go. <laughs> it's back to school <laughs> sale time easy, at Rooms to Go. All right. So this guy is like in some kind of a shed, like a like some kind of an overhang, like his like garage. Gazebo. Or something. A gazebo. A gazebo. Yes. A gazebo. gazebo. He's in his Sounds gazebo. Canadian. He's bitching about, um, you know, new canon stuff. Like, come on, man. Like, it's not worth a rant, to be honest with you, but. At the end of the day, Disney is going to do what Disney is going to do to, to, to put the best story forward and try to make some money at the same time. Like, if there's a worthy, and I don't know, you, you could probably speak to more about this, like the Legends characters. If there's a worthy Legend character that can be put in there, absolutely, they should put them in there. But, like, if you can come up with a different character, who cares? Like, I don't have any, well, I definitely don't, but I don't know if you have any, like, emotional attachment to some Legends character. Um, I mean, I don't necessarily like. I, honestly, I think Thrawn is the biggest one. Like, um, but I mean, I like what they've done with Thrawn. Like, he's basically the same character as he was before. Like, I don't know where um, Iron Inquisitor is coming up with his ideas that Thrawn is completely different. Like, maybe he's not exactly the same character that was in the Legends, but he's pretty much. I mean. <laughs> Everything that's been written about him is written by the same author. That that's exactly what I was getting ready to say. It's like the same fucking author wrote the whole entire Thrawn anthology and ideologies behind Thrawn. So he was probably given free reigns to redo what he already did. And yeah, so yeah. I I don't think there's a lot of difference between Thrawn and Thrawn. Thrawn. <laughs> so any, anyway, so, so so we're done with uh, so we're done with uh, Iron Inquisitor here. I, I don't have anything. That guy's has way too much time on his hands to worry about stuff like that. So anyway, oh, okay. so take a look. Check out Iron Inquisitor. Um, I don't know how many videos he's done, but I'm gonna check it out right now. He's got 231 subscribers. Wow, he's got a lot of videos. A lot of Star Is Wars. All fans. We're gonna about... revisit him at some point. <laughs> Star Wars Marvel issue 108 purchased. 
So we're gonna move on to the this pissed off redneck who is pissed off redneck on YouTube, and he doesn't like the fact that uh, there is a Star Wars day. So start this one. Hey Brian, turn it down a little bit. Yeah, body there. All right, come on, pissed off. Right He's there. a Steelers fan, right? Off right hey, y'all, pissed off redneck here, and it is Thursday, May fourth. <laughs> Thursday. And I got a little bit. It's I'm not thirsty. really a rant, but I want to know what the hell Star Wars right. Day. Star because Wars it, Day. All right, May it the looks fourth like he's trying be to sell with you. Pause that shit for, for, for first off. Like this guy can't be fucking serious, right? With all with the, all the, the this, all the face. Stuff and all the backgrounds. Like he is he joking for real? Like I don't know when people are joking. And <laughs> yeah, apparently he sells pissed off redneck T-shirts. So I order one today by going to pissed off redneck YouTube channel. You can buy a friggin- <laughs> and somehow you'll find. Sounds it. like my friend. <laughs> I don't know. Ah, all right, all right. Hey, here we go. Okay, so that damn Star Wars, Wars movie. Say. I mean, you know what? I watched the first Star Wars when I was a little kid. And uh, I haven't watched any other ones. And I know there's a lot of people out there who love the horse shit out of that damn Star Wars movie. Yeah, horse shit. They love the horse shit out of that. All right, where, so, so all right, okay, this guy is from somewhere in Pennsylvania, right? I'm assuming because he's a big Steeler fan. Uh, Could he be a. Well, non- I mean, if everybody, everybody across the country loves the Steelers. No, well, I wouldn't say everybody. 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 Um, most people that came from Pennsylvania, maybe. Like, no, I it? would say most people <laughs> are in a vagina? chair that has holes in it. Oh my in the back? god, I might use that as my uh, opening for this episode. What is it? What are vagina the vagina? It could be a vagina. He, all right, you got a recliner. Some that kind has of a recliner with, with with holes. <laughs> what did he say? A vagina. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here we go. Movie, and I'm not trying to put a curve in their swerve. I don't judge. <laughs> That's, That's cool. They like that Star Wars. I don't Wars want to put a curve in their Star swerve. Star Wars Day, really? Really? What about the Bad News Bears? <laughs> so you got Bad <laughs> News Bears. the best part bad of shit about the Bears Bad News Bears. Training. Bad News Bears go to Japan. They don't get Bad News Bears How does this guy know so much about How is there not a Bad, bad News Bears? <laughs> bad or News what Bears about, Day. uh... For real, though. What day would Smokey and the Bandit. There ain't no Smokey and the Bandit Day. There, there ain't no Smokey and the Bandit Day. Fucking, like... June 6th could be like Smokey and the Bandit Day. <laughs> there ain't no Bad News Bears Day. <laughs> like, but, but I mean, really, like, of all the movie fucking franchises this guy could come up with, Bad News Bears? Smokey and the Bandit. <laughs> well, Smokey and the Bandit's a fucking classic. But ba- Bad News Bears? Like, really? And he well, knows the first he Bad knows News the Bears was a classic. Of, but he like, knows the name of all the sequels. Bad News Bears go to Japan. <laughs> Bad News Bears go to fucking Houston and play in the Astrodome. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> well, I, don't, I don't know. I what. know the first one. I don't know any of the other ones. <laughs> no, but I mean, he knows the names. I, a I, Harley I, fan too. I just remember there was a movie where they played in the Astrodome. If you say the wrong thing, he's going to have a Harley yeah, breaking training. down here. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, he's a Steelers fan, so him and I would we, we'd be cool. <laughs> hey, buddy. But this guy has like 8.3 thousand view or subscribers, so. He's doing something. Or 9.3. He's doing something, right? Wait, what? 9.3 thousand it's a, subscribers. But he's only got 97 views on this video. I mean, he does have a vagina recliner, so. <laughs> anyway, here we go. Oh, there's a shit bunch of uh, Fast and Furious movies. How about Fast and Furious Day? <laughs> why is there not a Fast and Furious Day? <laughs> That's why I want to know. Why is Star Wars so special? It gets its own damn day. Wow, like every fucking thing has its own day. I want, got, I like, want a Pineapple Express day. There, they probably have <laughs> that. Be cool. they got, like, isn't that four twenty? That was a good movie. I love that movie. <laughs> like chocolate fucking apple day or whatever. They have. But I want to know why does it get its I own day? Know. There's other great movies that have a bunch of shit, bunch of movies. None uh, of those came up with a fucking series. holiday, like a day and a like. Come on, maybe no. None of those changed the genre. Special. They get their own day. May the fourth be with you. This guy. Now, I'm not saying whoever celebrating God, uh, we're have kids. Star oh, Wars no. Day. Fuck those kids. Those kids or if you like the movie Star Wars, fucked. I'm not saying you're asshole casseroles. I'm not oh, saying God that. Oh, damn it. I'm not- asshole As- casseroles. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I want to call the episode <laughs> asshole casseroles. It's like when you're out in the sun for a long time and you're just sweating like crazy. 
Your asshole turns into a casserole. I got an asshole <laughs> casserole. <laughs> like he's just like dropping like one liners. Like, 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 like I don't want to put a curve in your swerve. <laughs> asshole casserole. He just gave us. He just gave us a whole year's worth of uh, openings and intros. Like, like and... sound drops. Swamp ass used yeah. to be a thing, and now it's asshole casserole. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to put a curb in your swerve. <laughs> I Use imagine that there's going to be a bunch of people sitting around on Star Wars Day, stuffing their grocery holes with some snacks right. and watching the damn movie all what day. What did we all... do? Did we do that on, on May the 4th? What would he do? Did we stuff our grocery holes? No. Did we sit around <laughs> eating snacks? I don't recall. Um, I think I worked. Yeah, I think I did too. I went to work. It was probably a Thursday. Considering. So what is he going to do during a Fast and Furious Day? Like... Rev up his motor or something. He's got a Harley. He's got a Harley. Harley. Yeah, he's going to jump on the Harley. Like 52 of them. 52? Fuck. (laughs) So I just want to know why the hell he gets his own day. So many other good movies out there and movie series. What day would fascinate you? I like Deliverance. Deliverance? Why is there a Deliverance Day? (laughs) Oh, Jesus. (laughs) I know that. <laughs> I'm sorry, no offense to you Star Wars folks. Yeah, no offense, bud. No offense taken. No offense. Okay, please subscribe to my curve. channel. I need subscribers. I get 2,500 subscribers. <laughs> subscribers. And I'm going to do something. Is that crazy. how you get 9.3 thousand yeah, subscribers? Maybe you, right you should now. check. You're, you're on the wrong page, bud. You check oh your subscribers page. Not your <laughs> I, need subscribers de- page. I need subscribers. <laughs> Is that what happens when you like get some kind of itch in your crotch or something? You just scribers it? Uh, uh, a swerve in your curve. <laughs> <laughs> you better be. You better be putting some of this in your soundboard. Uh, this guy's gold. Hit that thumbs yeah. up, son bitch. Give me a like. Give me. Uh, and even uh, if you're uh, a Star Wars fan, give me a like. Damn it. No. We can all get along. <laughs> Share my videos. Show me get my oh, videos wait, wait, out hang there. On, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Because because we've got a drop for that. I just want to say, you know, can we can we all get along? Can we can we get along? It's there. Talk about it. I'm nurse. Help me get out there. Follow me on the Twitter, Hoppy69. That's H O P P I 69, and I'll put all my other shit down in the description down below. Well, now my so son's a bitch. Swerve your curve, 69. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And if you're a Star Wars fan, may the fourth be with you. Fucking right, buddy. F and I. My son's bitches. What the fuck I appreciate you here? guys. Uh, I, just I want love to subscribe you guys, to this guy. and I'm always amazing. thankful for my Copy sons and bitches. Have Copy a great rest of your day. You I'm out. Follower. Damn. May the fourth be with you. Yeah. So this guy wants subscribers and wants people to like him. Subscribers. He's gonna, he like, wants tear down a whole fucking yeah subscribers. But he's gonna tear down a whole fucking group of people. He has posted an wasn't, original tweet. He, he wasn't. Ever. He wasn't super offensive, though. I'll give him that. He, he has some good one-liners, so I'll give him that He hasn't posted an original tweet in over a year. All he does is... I added a video to a YouTube playlist. That's all... For the last year and a half. It's the same fucking tweet. Like, why would I follow you on Twitter? You don't say anything. <laughs> you just it's put your like YouTube us. bullshit on there. Like you and your fucking <clears throat> Cardinals nonsense. Hey, what's well, something? <laughs> <laughs> So, so that was fun. Good segue, <laughs> like, Nick. That guy, so that was fun. Yeah, that guy, uh, yeah, yeah. No, that guy uh, made my day, gave me some thoughts to think about, about May the 4th be with So I'm going to need some help from you guys, though, to uh, help us find some more Star Wars hot takes. Scour YouTube and look for some videos that have not a lot of views, because I, I don't want those videos that everybody's looking at. I want, the, I want some, some videos that... Nobody's looking at, and uh, you want some radio gold? Yeah, some our friend there in uh, Redneck Land. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna reach out to him, have him come on the show and talk about May the Fourth be with you. Well, Swervy I mean, Kirby yeah, I mean, well, that may be something that we want to. Uh, maybe something we want to look at. You know, come come May fo- May the Fourth. Like, maybe like what are your real thoughts on May the Fourth, there, buddy? Yeah, maybe we want to talk to him then. <laughs> you know, like now, now I mean, it's like almost like September the Fourth, so. You know, we're, it's, exactly. it's not very timely. Exactly. It's only nine four day. Yeah, <laughs> doesn't nine, doesn't four, quite nine. work out. <laughs> this is uh, so, sep sep fourth day. Exactly. So and and let me <laughs> let me, I mean, Kenny wanted me to do this. I didn't know if I should or not, but I'll give credit out there to uh, the Chutaka podcast, just because uh, they're they're out there 
you know, they're scouring the internet and they're finding these uh, big Star Wars fans. Yeah, we don't want to steal anybody's idea. Yeah, so uh, like definitely, we got the idea from them. Like it, it's yeah. Like take a listen to their podcast, Jutaka, and uh, it's it's some fucking podcast gold if you haven't listened already. And that name that they came up with is amazing. So I'll give them that much. I'll give them that credit. Too. Well, it's not Trench Run. Yeah. <laughs> That's well, for sure. Yeah, sure. Trent, still two talk. Trent run, comma or uh, co- or like colon, semicolon, <laughs> whatever the fuck comes next. A Star Wars podcast. Uh, yeah, it would be a colon. It would be okay. A, all right, a semicolon. Yeah. All right, well, I'm not great on my punctuation. Obviously, <laughs> Nick's not good no. at the spelling. Um, I'm not good at the punctuation. <laughs> there you go. Okay, okay so. We had finished the Clone Wars episodes on episode 40. Unfortunately, Kenny, Kenny wasn't here, so we couldn't do I don't our... I that was uh, unfortunate. Well, he had planned, so it was unfortunately that he was not here. But I mean, but, I don't uh, know if that was unfortunate that he wasn't here. Well, either way, we were going to do a top five or ten, what we think are the best episodes of the Clone Wars... Uh, so we wait until now when Kenny's back. Um, now I don't, I added in a couple of worst episodes and a couple honorable mentions. If you guys didn't do that, that's fine. That's just something I did. So, um, I don't know how you guys want to do it. Do you want to do, do five each? And then yeah, let's we'll just do like five, five each. Uh, four. I'll go first. You go first and then Brian will go first. Yeah. Yeah. So Brian's worst episode was of course the droid wash episode. I don't know why that's his worst Absolutely. episode, but whatever. Absolutely. Evil plans. But that one wasn't it's that bad. It's like, terrible. No, but you. Just, it was only the 15-second, like, RT, R2-D2 going through the car wash or whatever. Like, come on. It wasn't. It, it was It terrible. lasted 15 seconds. I, I absolutely hated that episode. The whole episode. The whole episode. What was wrong with the rest of the episode? C3 it was awful. Deal, right? It was just an awful. Like, it's fucking Way terrible. to break it down. Okay, cool. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I don't um, need to break it down. He fucking yeah, went yeah. through a fucking droid fucking car for fifteen ride. seconds. He, what about the other? He was going to. He seconds? was. They were going to a fucking With droid Bane. spa. What the fuck is a droid spa? They didn't leave going to the droid spa. They were going. They were to going to buy else. fruit. R two D two, and they ended up it. at a fucking droid spa. That sounds like Enough a great said. idea. Like, if I walk through and I'm going to get fruit and I see a spa, I'm like, oh, fuck, shit. You're not going to any fucking spa. I know I know you way, way too much, way too long to know that you're ever going to a fucking spa. Kenny even, like, goes beep, 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 beep. Exactly. I, I do that. And episode. then, and then the, then the fucking droid spa, he goes through a fucking car wash. Okay, we're trying because <laughs> we had it for an hour talking about Brian why he hates these episodes. It was a terrible it's it's episode. a fifteen second part of one episode, but okay, cool. It <laughs> was the whole episode yeah. was ruined for me. Yes. So, so I mean, everybody, anybody that listens to this podcast on a regular basis knows that that's going to be my yes number one least favorite episode. So for me, like, yeah, I mean, my. Worst episode also has a 10 second thing that happened that that made the whole episode terrible. So then why are you? But the rest of the episode would sucked also, not just because of this one thing that took me out of it, but it was season one, episode 12, the Gungan General. Uh, Oh God, that was a Jar Jar episode. That was where Jar Jar murdered a Jedi Uh, by. Uh, acting like an idiot on the plane, <laughs> and then the freaking guy got to, gets out of his freaking seatbelt to go help him and throw him back in his seatbelt. But before the Jedi could get back into his seatbelt, the plane crashes and he dies. So that whole thing upset me <laughs> <laughs> to the point of that was my I least love, favorite I, I, episode I, I, of this, Clone Wars. This really like weighed on your. It did. I got. Oh uh, yeah, I tweeted about it. I, yeah. I made a whole thing you about were it. asking questions to like Star Wars <laughs> insiders and everything. Yeah, like this episode really bothered you. It did. Okay, so we all know where I'm headed with this. Um, I I couldn't lightsaber between lost? the two episodes. No, well, there are two of them. Light, lightsaber lost, of course, because how the fucking Jedi loses lightsaber without him knowing about it or her and Senate murders, which is the episode that. They go on and they try to find like, the, yeah, they have the fucking French detective and a like, little midget guy. And it's just, it's such an awful episode and just like, <sighs> I can't stand it. Yeah. You, 
Can't stand you. That, that light that lightsaber loss still pisses me off. I don't know how she didn't how how she didn't see that coming. She's but she's not a master. She's a young Padawan. Padawan. Yeah, still she has force sensitive abilities. Okay, so honorable mentions. Well, wait a second here. You can't just pick two. You can't pick two worst episodes. You've got to make a decision here. Is it one or the other? Which one is your least favorite episode? Well, I put number one as Senate Murders, but I couldn't choose. Like, no, were, Senate Murders sucks. I, I agree. That's yeah, not that great. Uh, refresh yeah. my memory. Which follow, Senate which Murders. Senate Murders was the one where the the guy uh, Padme's uncle dies or something uh, like that. Uncle Ono, yeah, yeah, Anaconda yeah. Far. Yeah. Uncle Ono. Yeah, exactly. Oh no! Uh, oh no! <laughs> um, okay, oh, so my. <laughs> um, honorable mentions. I was ma- I was gonna make the joke of the Joyed Car Wash episode, but you ruined that for me because it was um, fucking terrible. No, I liked that episode. Terrible. But, uh, I terrible. the honorable mention I I was gonna go with is Assassin. 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 Yes, I actually enjoy the episode for what it's worth. Um, I also like the box, but Assassin, I box. enjoy because one fucking, has a history with our episode. That was a episodes. terrible episode. Shadow dropping. It was fine. It was, Shadow was that? How was that? The box? That was a fucking than, terrible episode. It wasn't. It, it wasn't like as. That one too. That it good. wasn't as bad as Droid Car Wash or AKA Evil Plans, but yeah. it was fucking terrible. I was a big fan I mean, of the if box. You say so. I like box. That was like watching fucking a video game. <laughs> he likes game. the box. <laughs> yeah, of course he, he likes does. a big old box. Big old box. Okay, uh, so uh, anybody else get have up any inside honorable that mentions? Box. I didn't, no, I didn't make an honorable mention. I just have Yeah, I mean, okay. come on. I was just trying to fucking But get it was one hard in. to like toss it down to five, so I was like, eh, whatever. It really wasn't Okay, that hard. so number five, who wants to start? Um, I will start. Okay. Um, Bounty for number five for me, which was the episode on the train. Oh yeah, that was a good one. Yeah, so I I liked it. It's been a while. I can't remember. I like yeah. that episode. That was the, uh, it was uh, just after uh, Ventress was kind of on her own, and so she hooked up with Boba Fett and the other bounty hunters, and they went on that um, train and blah blah blah. It was a good episode. Blah blah blah. Okay. Blah blah blah. So my number five was Arc Troopers season three episode two. Um, Camino was under attack, and that the uh, clones had to protect their their station or whatever thing. Uh, that was where ninety nine, the old fucked up uh, clone, ended up getting killed. Um, that was a really good episode. Just with seeing them like protecting their themselves and, and ninety nine jumping in. Like when you were watching it, like you really kind of you know felt for them and also for ninety nine, the old clone. Guy. Yeah, it was a good episode. I, I remember that one. So um, that was my fifth. I, I seem to remember Nick not liking that one so much. Uh, I'd have to go back and rewatch it. Sometimes, you know, as Kenny said earlier, you know, sometimes your tastes change, so I may enjoy it more than I, as we've seen all the episodes now. My number five is from, I forgot the uh, season, give me a second, uh, just, where's it at? Uh, season three, episode 22 was the Wookiee Hunt. Okay. Wow. Um, I, yeah, I thought it was just a fun episode. It was it was a crazy episode, and I remember really enjoying when I watched it. And it has you know Wookies in it, and it has you know Wookies. I think it was the one that was like Wookie. very violent. Pretty was much that? only had one Wookie in it, right? Yeah, if I remember right, it was. It's been a while since I've seen it, but I remember really enjoying when I did. And that was watch the Transdotians that were yeah. chasing down the Wookies. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> trans the trans. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Trans Trans Doshians. Doshians. Um No, I, I like that one. That was a really good one. And I mean, it wasn't top five, but it was, you know, like it was good. 15 well, I think it, ish. It, yeah, I would say. Yeah, yeah, I think it was just because it was like super violent. <laughs> I think that's what like remember it for. So, what, like, what are the odds that any of us are going to pick out of the top five, like some episode from like a major arc? Pretty good. Uh, most, yeah, most of mine are from Major yeah, Arc. Really, so. they're pretty good. Because I don't know that mine yeah. are. I know, I know top one. one there at least one my top, top one is is from a Major Arc. I don't know. I don't know that mine are. I uh, feel like definitely mine are. one of yours are. I know that. Well, one of mine. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> but I feel like, like if we were picking arcs, I could I could probably do more of a top five on, on arcs. Mm. But I, I, it's hard for me to. 
it's hard for me to separate the episodes. You know what I mean? So yeah. like it's I, like yeah. like yeah, I get the it, Citadel. Like to me, that's an mm-hmm. arc. That's not really an episode. So, there, and there's three episodes. But there are whatever. But I would say I would say there are episodes like in certain arcs that are better than others. That's where I was going. At. All right, well, so, well, but to say that, let's just move on. My my fourth favorite episode was season three, episode twenty, Citadel Rescue. Like I really liked that arc, but I also liked that that episode of the arc was my favorite episode of that arc was Citadel Rescue. That them going and and getting. Uh, what's his face out of uh, Grandma Tarkin? Grandma Tarkin out of out of jail. Um, and then you had the Jedi. I forgot his name, who died. During, even Peel. Even uh, yeah. Um, even Flow or uh, Even Peel, <laughs> <laughs> who died. No, that's Master Flow and Even Peel. <laughs> even uh, Peel. Ex- exactly. So he died, and then they had the cool funeral, like sending him off down the river or whatever. Um, sending him down the river. The lava he was, river. He was already down the river. Yeah, <laughs> but that was that was really a cool arc that the up, I enjoyed the entire one, and then the the episode was was my top was my fourth favorite. So number four for me was Clone Cadets. That was the American Gladiators episode. Like, yes, I yes, don't know that, that was a good I, one. I got to be honest, I don't know that I rated it that highly when we went through and rated them, but. It's one of my favorite episodes. Like I like the uh, just the team building and American Gladiators esque episode of it. <laughs> um, so my number four is season four, episode ten, Carnage of Krell. It's a good one. It's good because it's very. It, it has like a satisfying ending, and it's very very dark. I mean, there. I I've, I actually had to look this one up again just to make sure, but it was. Very, I remember like they disobeyed Krell and they got put into it in front of a firing squad. So I said, and then Krell. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I said I didn't have an honorable mention. Just a real quick, I, that I did have an honorable. Uh, it's on my notes, but I forgot that I had one, and that's on my honorable mention. Is oh Carnage yeah, of Krell for season four, episode ten, Carnage of Krell. So that whole arc was great, uh, but that episode was the best of the arc. Yeah, because that guy was a terrible human being, or terrible creature, I should say, and he got his just desserts, which was amazing. Yeah. So, but that's my number four. Dessert. Dessert. Just dessert. Mm, dessert. Mm. Okay, so season three, episode... I'm sorry, no. Um, season two, episode eight, was one of my tops, was Brain Invaders. That was where Barris, O.S.T., and Ahsoka were stuck on a ship... <laughs> With the Geonosian brain worms. That was really cool. Uh, I just like the way it was filmed or f- animated um, and just put together. Uh, I liked that, you know, they were trying to, they were, it was just like a, like a, uh, they were just isolated, the two of them. Like, I don't remember too much about it, but I remember that I was a big fan of it. Just Ahsoka, Kenny's, that was really what brought Kenny's, us. Kenny's favorite character. Barris, I love, love Barris. Barris, Afi, um, But no, that was really the one because it was it was early on, and Ahsoka had just kind of wasn't really there for me yet. But like in that episode, I thought it really brought Ahsoka to like a one of like a favorite character, just the the way that was handled. So uh, season three, episode two. So for me, so my number season two, episode eight. My number three was uh, Hunt for Zero. I I like the uh, uh, there was. Just a lot of characters brought in from uh, kind of the. He had Cy Snoodles, you know, the singer from the Max Rebo band. You had Cy Snoodles out there. You had, uh, I think you were calling him the Rasta Man. <laughs> yeah, the old, uh, what's his face? Yeah, him. Um, <laughs> the Rasta Man. Yeah, if I could think of his name, I would. The Jedi oh. that. Was like although he was like in one episode or whatever it was. Yeah, he seems like he's well known as a like I just can't. He's like a book guy. Like a lot of book stuff with that guy. He's book smart. As soon as you say it, it's gonna piss me off. Quinlan Voss. Yes. Oh, QV. Oh right. Yeah. Yeah. So QV. Yeah. So See. Quinlan Voss. So Quinlan Voss. Some size noodles. Like I wasn't. Uh, I wasn't around for the for for whatever reason. I don't remember. But I wasn't around for when you guys reviewed this episode. But I, I know you oh, guys. Oh yeah, you weren't. You guys weren't huge fans of the episode. But I, I like. I really liked this episode. I was just never a fan of Zero. Is all. I, I think that's you what like the his was. accent. It's like a, yeah, it still bothers me. I feel like you're a little uh, southern. 
It's like so they're freaking dull. Colonel Sanders. The yeah, I, I don't know. I liked I liked Jabba the Sanders. I liked I liked the little because it was like it was like a mini arc with uh, Zero mm-hmm. and um, getting him out of prison or whatever, and Size Noodles and the Quinlan Voss and Obi Wan teaming up. I, I liked it. Yeah. And, Cad Bane showed up, right? And then they yeah, he Cad, fought. Cad Bane was uh, on yeah, that too. was cool. I like that one. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I like I like the episode, and then Zero ended up dead. Sice Noodles killed him. It was a good episode. He so, got killed. I, I like that one. Yeah, he did. He gone. He gone. He gone. Uh, again, need to add that one. Yep. Okay, so for number three for me, um, it's season six, episode eleven, voices. Um, this is the episode we reviewed the last episode, and. This uh, I I hate to say this is one of those episodes that I feel shut up. This is one <laughs> this is one of those episodes that I feel is really important to the whole entire uh, saga. That was with, so um, important. With, with you know him learning about you know Obi Wan and or not Obi Wan uh, Qui Gon Jinn and going to Dagobah and you know seeing all the visions or whatever he sees in Dagobah and learning how it's force sensitive and. I just I, you start learning about like how important man, uh, medichlorians are and stuff like that, which has always been a joke. And I don't know, I, I just really enjoyed it. I think it was a, a very well paced episode and gave us a lot of cool f- um, flashback moments and past moments that we've seen that really enjoy. And I think it's really sets a precedence precedence Presidents? damn it so precedence for uh, Clone Wars in general. So yeah, that's fair. Yeah, yeah, no, it was. It's okay. It's decent. So number two was season three, episode seventeen, Ghosts of Mortis. So this was the last episode of the Mortis arc. Uh, obviously, it was very force heavy kind of stuff. Uh, you got to see a little bit of foreshadowing from Anakin of what he'll become. Uh, unfortunately, he gets his memory erased. I mean, he kind of had to anyway. Uh, you know, Qui Gon was there a little bit. You got you got the interesting. What's it called when somebody shows up for two seconds? Cameo. cameo. <laughs> uh, you got the interesting cameo there, but um, just seeing kind of, you know, how they go to Mortis and Obi-Wan and Ahsoka, you know, are there also. Uh, apparently, oh, uh, Ahsoka's a mechanic all of a sudden during this arc, but you never see it again before or after. Obi-Wan, like I said, Obi-Wan kind of seeing um, Qui-Gon. And I just thought it was really, the whole arc was great. Seeing the the father and the daughter, or the yeah, this goes back to and the this sister goes back, or whatever it was, and this goes back to what I was saying. Like, if I was picking arcs, this would probably be in a top five. But it's hard to pull one. But episode. I'm picking my favorite episode no, out I of get my it. favorite arcs. I'm just saying, for me, it's tough to pull. It's tough to pull like a favorite episode out of this arc. You know, I, I but I like to you and you like this arc so much also. So why wouldn't no, you just try to pick one like your favorite of the arc? I don't know because it's tough to say which episode I like out of. The, I don't know. Sure, I just but go I back mean, to the it, grades. It's it's, it's, it, like it's, an, <laughs> it's the same thing as the uh, the the Onderon like uh, Saw Gerrera arc. Like I don't I don't have an. I like that arc a lot, but I don't have an episode out of there that. It, but if you go back and you graded one an A plus and then one an A minus, obviously the A plus was. Greater. I feel like most of mine, I probably graded them all pretty much the same, though. Maybe. So I don't know. Like if we were, if we were just picking arcs, I would probably have this up there. But we we're just picking episodes, so. I feel like I couldn't avoid a Mortis arc episode, so I had to throw one in there. I was able to. I didn't. I wasn't. Anyway. No, I get it. Like it's not a bad episode. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying like it, that's the reason why. It's I just don't a shame a- that some some of the best episodes from the, some of the best arcs in your reasoning aren't included in this because they were just from good arcs that had other good episodes. You can't include those episodes. Like that's not. No, fair because those- it's not. It's not that at all. It's more like I kind of lump them all together as like one episode. Like to me, to me, Mortis. Like if I'm. If I'm thinking like off the top of my head, what are my favorite episodes? I would think like okay, uh, Mortis, but there's three of those, so I don't. So you don't have like a favorite Back to the Future? Yeah, because they do all run concurrently together, <laughs> in essence. What? You don't have a favorite Back to the Future? Uh, the first one. So it's the same fucking thing. I'm not saying that I can't do it. I'm just saying it's. Yeah, I put these together like quickly. 
<laughs> and <laughs> okay, that makes so, more sense. Okay, so anyways, all right, all right. That, that's yeah. fair. Okay, I put okay. So, but I, what's I your still, number two? My number two is Massacre, and I honestly I don't have a problem with my top five list. Massacre was the episode where the Night Sisters were basically massacred by Count Dooku and General Grievous. Yeah, it was a pretty de- a pretty disturbing episode. Actually. It was. I loved that episode. Yeah. So anyway, that was my number two. Um, this might be Kenny or your number one, but number two, I was like between the first and second one, but uh, season five, episode sixteen, the Lawless. Yeah, what? There you go. Why would that not be your first? Yeah, that's my number one. That's my number uh, one. Well, no, because like... no, no, it, I have another episode. I told you guys when I when I picked number one. That that would be probably my number one in general, but yeah, Lawless is just straight up like intense all the way through with you know Darth Maul and Palpatine and or I'm sorry Sidious and then um, uh, what's her face? They're uh, the Texas same person. Satine. Thank you, Brian. Thank you. But we don't know that yet because it's a Clone Wars. But uh, Duchess Satine dying, yeah. Obi Wan. You know, Obi Wan losing somebody that he really cares about, and yeah, it was it was an insane episode. Um, one of the best they had. So, so all right. Well, that's my number one. But I, and and we'll kind of get into it here in a little bit. But the lawless is part of what ruined Revenge of the Sith for me. Like, it, it just all that stuff going on. Holy shit! We're three hours in <laughs> recording, and we haven't even gotten. Oh, yeah, we still have more to go. <laughs> I mean, we had like hour break, but anyway, whatever. Um, the, yeah, that's part of what ruined Revenge of the Sith. It's just as the lawless. <laughs> was so good and like you just don't see that type of stuff in revenge of the sith uh, like had revenge of the sith aired you know after this maybe it would have helped but like and had it added you know it just, it just wasn't i don't know with all that it just it didn't help the obi-wan stuff which i hope they get into it in uh obi in the in the kenobi series you know kind of getting a little bit about the stuff with him and and Satine, and hopefully we get into a little. Th- this this episode has a lot. You get into this episode in the Mandalorian. You can get into this epi- episode in in Kenobi. You can get into this episode in Revenge of the Sith, but they never do. Like this ha- episode has so many different directions it can go in. It was great. It had uh, everything. So that's my number one. It, it literally had everything and the kitchen sink thrown in. Exactly, but, I mean, but it's it still not your favorite, which is crazy. Well, and. and- Actually, Revenge of the Sith was the one that had the kitchen sink thrown into it. Yeah, I was going to mention that, actually, when we started talking about that, but uh, that was a joke I was throwing in uh, there. See, I'm you, glad you got that, you Brian. You threw that in too early. Um, but, yeah, no, I agree with Kenny that the number one episode was The Lawless. Like, you can't um, you can't top that the drama of Duchess Satine. And the visuals was um, were amazing. Like, yeah. just everything. It was it was a 10. Like ten out of ten, yeah. A plus. That was absolutely the best episode a plus of plus. the Clone Wars. Like that it's is what it's put. probably the best episode of the Clone Wars, best episode of Rebels. It's I don't know that there's a better Star Wars moment. Um. Okay. So my reason for it not being number two, number one was uh season two, episode fourteen, Duchess of Mandalore. Um. The reason this that one is number one is when I actually truly fell in love with the series. It was such a like intense episode of Satine and Obi Wan developing like a true relationship, and I don't know. It hit me at the moment of realizing that I should have watched this series like I don't know what ten, 10 years, years ago? ago. Yeah. So it's it's is it is it the greatest episode I've ever seen? Now that I think about it, no, but for Clone Wars, for everything that we've talked about. It's an episode where they go on the run, they develop this bond, and to see how it plays out, to see how emotional it is, to see how good James Arnold Taylor as Obi-Wan is, and I can't remember who plays Duchess of Teen, but it's just as perfect an episode as I can think of outside of The Lawless, and I just love it for the impact that it created as a fan of Star Wars, and it truly made me realize that there are better thing sometimes in the movies itself and this proved that clone wars was something truly special so that's the reason it's number one i, I would have put lawless because i think it is like a truly better episode i just think this is a more important episode for me so that's my reason that's fair yeah. it's more personal it's wrong but it's fair it's right but i mean nick's usually wrong so hey hey so no, are you trying to tell me that the, the lawless okay yeah well never mind 
Wow. Just say it. Was not say it. Say it. I don't. Say it. I don't know anybody who has ever watched the whole Clone Wars series would not say that that episode's their their favorite. But you, know, you don't know that the three of us, you know, really like the laws, but maybe someone else likes something else. I mean, two thirds of us I, like that one better. Uh, I'm just saying, I'm going off impact more than you know. That's so you're saying there's more yeah. impact. See, yeah, I, well, to, I'm, like, I'm saying like, from a standpoint of how the epi- how the series watching that episode really really inform me of what the Clone Wars would eventually become. So you think that if you, before that there was go ahead, what's that? Go ahead. No, go ahead. I'm saying you think that if after you watch that you were just like, oh man, this is so great, I want to watch this entire series right now, but you didn't. So that's not that was not that's not the reason we do that. Like I I only watch them like at the day of or the day before, so. I have a fresh take of what's going on. So. You can watch things twice. I, it's hard. Um, okay, so, so that two of is... us are right, and uh, Nick is wrong. Cool. Okay. Right. Exactly. Um, oh, sure, then, sure. I mean, we're usually right, <laughs> and Nick is usually wrong. Right. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Sure. Okay. So, anyways, let's let's move this along. Uh, so that's our top five of what we think the best of Clone Wars. Uh, we'll revisit maybe in four or five months, and maybe some of the season seven stuff will be better or as good. I don't know. We'll see. When February rolls around. So, all right. So, uh, we are going to get into our final segment and we are going to talk about one of Brian's favorite Star Wars movies or maybe his favorite Star Wars movie uh, Star Wars Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith. The dark side of the Force is a pathway to many abilities some consider to be unnatural. Is it possible to learn this power? Not from a Jedi. The Council wants you to report on all the Chancellor's dealings. That's treason. We are at war, Anakin. Very dangerous putting them together. I don't think the boy can handle it. I don't trust him. I'm appointing you to be my personal representative on the Jedi Council. You're on this Council, but we do not grant you the rank of Master. What? Obi-Wan and the Council don't trust me. Learn to know the dark side of the Force, and you will achieve a power greater than any Jedi. Every single Jedi is now an enemy of the Republic. Do what must be done. Do not hesitate. Show no mercy. Twisted by the dark side. Young Skywalker has become. I feel so helpless. You are the chosen one! Three years into the Clone Wars, the Jedi rescue Palpatine from Count Dooku as Obi Wan pursues a new threat. Anakin acts as a double agent between the Jedi Council and Palpatine and is lured into a sinister plan to rule the galaxy. Okay. So, this is the first actual movie we reviewed in a year and a half, maybe almost two years. So, it was a little bit different going forward with this movie because I've seen this movie so many times, unlike The Clone Wars. So, Brian, I'm going to let you go first as this being one of your favorites and explain why. Because you're going to have to rebut me. You're going to have to do a lot of rebuttals or whatever, like from some stuff I have to say. So, you might as well get your stuff out of the way. No, I mean, I don't I look. It's not a perfect movie, but I like I mean, I like the prequel movies. I'm sorry. The age of whatever the fuck it's called. Uh, Republic. Republic. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Age of Republic. <laughs> so I like the uh, I like the prequel movies again. And uh, this is hands down the best out of the, the prequel trilogy. I mean, come on. Like you've got uh, I don't know. This is good stuff. I love General Grievous. I love uh, I, I, the the act three of this movie is fantastic. Like the action in it, the the lightsaber battle between Obi Wan and Anakin is fantastic. I like. There's just some there's some cheesy stuff in it, but there's some fucking fantastic. I love the I love the uh, the opera, like whatever the fuck is going on there. Like just the dialogue between Anakin and and uh, Palpatine. That stuff's fantastic. I love. I mean, did that not look like semen to you? <laughs> Maybe, <laughs> like sperm going through that. 
the birth canal. <laughs> but <it> just <laughs> like that's the thing, though. Like whatever the fuck they're watching, like who cares? But like the dialogue is fantastic. Not from a Jedi. I mean, come on. Can I can I, can I ask you a question about you? That? Sure can, Nick. Why would not Anakin not realize that Palpatine is a Sith at that point? That really bothered me this time after seeing that portion after everything we've seen how does he not know this Pal- does he think palpatine just reads books on the but Sith? What, I mean, what would be wrong with that it's just so because obvious. you read a book on the president doesn't make you the president so like it's well but he knows so much about okay. it though. well it's you like, can be an almost... expert on uh, to, I, honestly i i like to disagree with you sometimes just to disagree but in this case i actually disagree with you like he was just speaking based at that point not from a Jedi. It could have just been him well, reading a book or him being knowledgeable about something. And you can be knowledgeable about something and not be that something. Just because you read a book about um, World War II doesn't make you a Nazi sympathizer. Or an expert on World War II. So. Well, no. I'm just saying like they it's the one subject of that they're all being cautious about. But that about. came up to me. Honestly, it did. And, and I kind of got it through the, the sense of he could just appear as someone who has done his homework. Yeah, exactly. He needs to know yeah. enough about it. He's the it fucking to, chancellor of the entire galaxy. I mean... So, yeah. Well, I mean, that's true. But it's Maybe something that, like afraid that, that... It's that not a Jedi, wrong you know? thing to think, but I, I, I thought about it and I kind of looked to the other way. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. So, yeah. I mean, uh, let, let's get some other takes on this. But, I mean, I just... I love the movie. Like, I mean... And like I said, there was some cheesy shit in it. Like, I don't know. Anakin definitely there's some stuff that comes across as like uh, okay that's painful it's mostly it's mostly I, anakin padme stuff just like in episode two like yeah, i could probably do without that but um i'll kind of go next um my biggest problem with this movie and it's also the dialogue and stuff like that but the scenes that play out especially in the beginning like okay so you have the space battle which is actually really awesome then you have all the stuff in the middle, and this is coming from a nerd technical side where all the pacing of each scene is so quick and so fast paced that there's no like real time to breathe. They go from like Obi Wan and Anakin to Anakin and the Chancellor to Anakin and Padme to Mace Windu and Yoda or blah, whatever. No, oh, no, you like, know, within like a three month, three minute period. Episode, it's so there's quick. The, the stuff that's going on you know, with you know Obi Wan. You know that. something that really kills me in this movie? Like what really takes me out of it is when they're they're in the uh like the fight with Dooku and Obi Wan mm-hmm. falls down and then Dooku pulls that like yeah. that thing down on Obi Wan. It doesn't kill him. It looks like it should fucking cut him in half. Yeah. And it, it like doesn't somehow like that that's the one thing in this whole movie that's the if there is one thing that really takes me out of the movie it's that like that it looks like it should fall down and just fucking cut him in half and it doesn't like somehow he's fine like that 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 that, like one thing is like the major flaw i have in this movie Mm mm-hmm Anyway. Yeah, no, it makes sense. I mean, yeah, like, he dropped a whole fucking whatever on him. It's like, this guy is not dead. It's, yeah, But it, it looks it, like that, it falls of... down and, like, cuts him in half. And, yeah. and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, no, he's fine. He's fine. My God. But yeah, like I My said, God. He's, he's cut in half. Broken in half. <laughs> But yeah, most of most of my big complaints are, of course, the dialogue. And like I said, some of the pacing, especially in the middle, it's so it, it gets so wonky with like how quickly it's going. It's like like if, for instance, you're with the chancellor and Anakin and he's like talking to him about I want you to keep an eye on the Jedi. And that lasts like literally 45 seconds and then it goes to the next scene. It's like you're not giving anything to breathe. I know they only have like two hours and what, 20 minutes to play with in this movie. But, you know, when you have such a really cool opening you have such a really cool ending and then Anakin, which I know Kenny's going to talk about, like he goes and becomes Darth Vader within like 30 minutes after the, the battle of Coruscant. It's just really, I, I don't know who was editing this, but it's almost like they had a blindfold on and they were just like, Oh, will cut here, here, and here. And it just started bothering me. And I, I don't know. That's my biggest problems. I enjoy, like, the action stuff. I think it's fantastic. I think the, some of the character moments are really kind of impactful. But it's just, like, 
to end the Clone Wars and to do it in kind of just like a quick pace fashion, it almost feels like it needed a little bit more time. I guess I don't know. It's hard to it's hard to like really get into it without. So basic. Talking. So what what do you, what is your thoughts on the movie though? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Um. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, compared to like Attack of the Clones, yeah, I, I enjoy it. I just think it's it has so many issues and flaws that it, you know, especially like I did enjoy the fact that. You can feel because of the Clone Wars, you can actually feel uh, Yoda and Mace Windu, their fear of what's going on with the Chancellor. It actually makes it more impactful and makes more sense than what if you had seen it just by itself without the Clone Wars. So that does help it. But like I said, there are moments where it's just like it's so cringe inducing, like you said, with Anakin and Padme. It's like, I'm so in love with you. And he's like, No, I'm so in love with you. And like, Oh it's like I, I it's know. like you're just talking to like a lamp or something. Like <laughs> it just doesn't. That's probably what he was doing. They they have I no love lamp chemistry together. <laughs> like they have no chemistry, and you just want to see like you know put freaking John Krasinski and Jenna Fisher, and they could be fucking Padme and I love lamp and what's her what's his face and and Anakin. Like give me like two actors with chemistry together to make me feel like you actually care like oh i'm pregnant and then this dude's is like oh oh, oh cool Nick. okay like uh, uh okay like he doesn't even like, you don't even feel ever that they actually love each other you just feel like jealousy the entire time <laughs> nick we, oh and the- were, were you there were, were you with us when we went to see it the first time me and yeah it was you you me and jason or jason you and i and, yeah, and tony yeah. I, yeah oh yeah he was there yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. so i couldn't remember i couldn't remember if you were with us or not but i think you had seen it already and then you went with us the day that like we went to see it i think yeah. you had already seen it but yeah well, i saw it twice i had already seen it twice but uh Oh, yeah, and also one more thing. Anakin's heel turn is so sudden and weird. Like, he goes from being angry to being sorry to Obi-Wan to just being angry again to being sorry. It's like his heel turn is, like, the worst thing you've ever seen in your entire life, and it happens so suddenly and quickly. And he's like, I'm against Palpatine. I'm going to put him in jail. No, I want you to save my wife now. It's like it doesn't make sense. Like, he's talking. He tells them, and, like, when, and like Mace Windu, uh, oh, you know, I suspect that he's, like, this dark, uh, side Sith that we've been looking for. And like the next fucking scene, he's over there fucking pushing the window out the window. Like, what the fuck? Because he wants him arrested. He doesn't want him killed. And Mace really Windu wants to kill him. Really, children doesn't want to kill him? Well, he's not He's not a murderer of children yet. Oh, just 20 minutes l- later. Yeah. He's well, it's not even that. It's like 10 minutes later. <laughs> but I, He's marching on the temple. I, okay. At that point, though, he just wants to... He just wants to... Uh, keep Palpatine alive and arrest him. But Mace Windu doesn't think that that's the best option because this is a good point. It's too dangerous to keep alive. So Windu wants to kill him and then Anakin stops him from killing him. And then after that is when, you know, the whole uh, henceforth you shall be known as Darth Vader. Okay, so what else? Nick, anything? Oh, I, one, the one more thing I had was I actually asked Kenny this yesterday or today or whatever it was. Did the did what Palpatine originally or what he eventually became to look like when he was getting the lightning fingers back on him and shit? Is that his original form? Like he because he never he seems to be affected only when he's playing into Anakin's sympathies, but he doesn't seem to be really like if you think if you get electrocuted like that. That it would, like, for instance, look at Luke when he gets electrocuted. It, like, really affects him. But it doesn't really affect Palpatine. Almost like he is wearing a mask to look like, you know, the senator, chancellor. And this is his, like, true form, the disfigure. Because he talks about how he, he basically killed what uh, whatever that master was that he talked about at the, uh, the opera or whatever it is. Because that's basically he, the one Darth he, he Plagueis killed, the right? Wise. Yeah, didn't he kill Plagueis? Yeah. So is that, what I'm saying is he is he old enough that this is his like true form? No. That he actually looks like he... He looks like this after he is using all the Force Lightning on Maze Windu. Yeah, well, I I'm mean, just he's he just... he doesn't seem really that affected by it. But he is that affected by it. That's why he he's disfigured. He changed his shape or whatever. He's like lightning shapeshifter guy. He's all weird. Like he's, he's like using a ton of Force... 
power, I guess, on Mace Windu, and that's what's disfiguring him. Okay, I'm just saying, like, it just almost... Yeah, he's like not he... wearing a mask. Okay, no, I mean... I mean, uh, that's my opinion, anyway. Okay, that's fine. I was just curious, so... Well, I was something I brought up to you, Kenny. Glad you so. feel that's fine. No, yeah, we talked about that earlier <laughs> today, though. I, I, I get it, yeah. Um, Don't shake your head at me, Nick. I'm not shaking my head. I said, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I really don't have anything outside of that. I think the visuals are still fantastic. Uh, they're a little Stunning. wonky now. Stunning. But, um, like you said, when you're on the spaceship and you can see the space battles in the background or, you know, just the way everything flows. I, like I said, Kenny brought up a good point. A lot of the visuals kind of look like Clone Wars now yeah. than what they used to look like in the way they're designed. But like I said, it's still a good movie. It still has a lot of fun moments. I just think the dialogue with Anakin and... Padme and some of the other moments are a little, little, little much. So it's it's one of those movies that not not that the beginning isn't is bad, but when I watch it, I like to kind of start it after the crash landing on Coruscant. Like to me, that's where Revenge of the Sith should start. Really? Yeah. The twenty minutes oh, fight or the was thirty it? whatever it was, yeah. saving the Chancellor and the fight in space. All yeah. that. Yeah. Like I love that stuff. I mean, it's good. That could have like, been a Clone Wars episode. Clone Wars episode, which it should be hopefully yeah. coming up. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, like if if I'm if I'm not like if I'm in a rush and I want to like just get into the heart of Revenge of the Sith, that's kind of where I start it. Like after they crash land and they. They they hit down and like Padme's like oh yeah I'm pregnant with twins blah 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 you know we'll get started. She right didn't there. know she was pregnant with twins though, did she? No, I don't think she. She Ooh, didn't bah. say that. Like Ooh, I, I don't think I could ever like be in a situation where I'm having a child and not like have Ooh, bah Ooh, bah. running through my head <laughs> at that time. And like if it was with my uh, wife, she would like be like what the fuck are you talking about right now you're like Uba. she's like get the fuck out of here <laughs> like, you need to go yeah. like what are you doing okay <laughs> okay so, so uh okay. i have a yeah. lot of questions and i know we're pretty deep into it so i'm gonna try to be brief here i have a lot of questions i have a lot of problems here so first off <laughs> I had a lot of questions and i got a lot of problems with you people so the for, uh, just in general it was fine i don't want to think that i don't want people thinking i don't like it you know, this is the best of the prequel trilogy to me, or uh, Republic era. Age of Republic. <laughs> Whatever, yes. Age, of, Age of Republic. <laughs> um, but, you know, and, and the score was amazing. The score was great. Um, you know, the, the battles were great. The fight scenes were great. You know, stuff like that. The acting sucked, and the dialogue sucked. And the story Negative. twists were not great. So, the, the worst thing, had Clone Wars never existed... This would probably get an extra whole grade higher. But Clone Wars ruined this movie to me. Yes, I, I would agree with that, actually. It's, I do not. It's still a good movie. But, but, like, everything that Clone Wars was, especially with Anakin. Like, Anakin and Clone Wars, between Anakin and, and, and Anakin and Revenge of the Sith, two completely different characters. Like, I, maybe something's going to happen in Season 7 that's going to change things. Hopefully, maybe they, they will. But it, it, it seems like last minute, like retconning or whatever the hell you want to call it don't retcon don't retcon me bro <laughs> but they they two completely different characters still in in clone in uh clone wars anakin's like a heroic type character and i know he was at the beginning he's still saving um uh, obi-wan with the 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 droids that latch on or whatever whatever what are those droids are called again buzz droids buzz droids uh, he's still trying to save the day and he's doing this but just the 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 entire Clone Wars series showed a different Anakin than what we see here. We still see just a dry, plain old Anakin in Revenge of the Sith. And maybe that's Hayden Christensen's fault. Maybe it's not compared to to Clone Wars where you see some, somebody with more life and more charisma than we have in Revenge of the Sith. So what's your question? Well, no, I'm just getting to my problems first. I got, I got questions. Uh, yeah. So I got, I got a lot of problems here. So it sounds like fucking Festivus. We're gonna air them all out, and I know we don't, have, we don't have a lot of time. A lot of grievances. We don't have a lot of time, but we're gonna get through them. So, Hayden Christensen and uh, what's her face, um, Natalie Portman, like guys, like you are just two pieces of wood, like talking to each other for real. Like you. So have this no is really how you feel about Natalie Portman. Chemistry. Uh, she, I mean, she can. <laughs> <laughs> No, Natalie Portman, like, they're just straight not 
they, they, they have no chemistry. And like, if it's uh, Thor and Natalie Portman, they had chemistry. Whatever, that's fine. But Hayden Christensen and Natalie Portman do not have on-screen chemistry. I don't believe one second that they actually care about each other. Care about each other. But they're so in love with but each you, other. They, okay, they're I can say that all day. It doesn't mean it's true. And they don't sell it to me at all. Like, I don't believe that they carry each other. And then when he goes later on, he chokes her out and throws her on the ground. It just proves the point. Like, it's, okay, you could say it all day. I don't believe it. And then when you choke her out, even though she's pregnant, and throw her on the floor... It tells me that you never cared about her anyway because your acting sucks, and then you're just throwing her on the floor. So I don't believe it's because the I don't believe the chemistry there, and that's that's just, their fault. Just, that's just hold off, Nick. Just hold off. It's just because Natalie Portman didn't have the high ground. It's all. Well, what if, yeah, all right, she's sort of, and okay. <laughs> so, but whatever. Like it's just like that would have probably helped my grade also. Like had they had chemistry. Same thing with with episode two. No chemistry. It's dry. Sand, glass, blah blah blah, whatever. It's boring. So, uh, and then they get married at the end. Uh, you basic, whatever the fucking shit is on that. You basic. <laughs> I'm still kind of disappointed in Grievous, by the way. I know you Grievous, like Grievous is annoying. Like, like, his it whole... sounds like he's out of breath all the time. Like, come on, man. Like, yeah, his whole arc is well. Actually, the Clone Wars Tartoski kind of explained why that is, and then they didn't use it. So. Like it just bothers me that he chokes her out. Like, oh, I love her so much. She's the reason I don't want to lose her. She's the reason I'm I, I'm turning bad so I can save her life. And then you choke her. The fuck? Please, please. Oh, that's like some straight up fucking like. She was. She brought Obi Wan. She's two timing him. He, she didn't bring anybody. He snuck yeah, onto the plane. Obi Wan's a pimp. Like he snuck on. <laughs> She's. Come on. He snuck onto the airplane. She's not fucking. Oh, she's not. It's all her force fault. sensitive. He, it's she didn't her know fault. he was there. She shouldn't have to do a double check to make sure there's no smugglers or whatever coming through. So like he shows up, he's standing up there all oh, at the top of the fucking ramp, and and she gets choked out. Like that's not that's not love. Like that's just possessive bullshit. Like give me. But a break. that's Anakin. That's the whole thing. That's why. Well, he, that's when. How? Why is that him? He's not the. That's a different version of him than we had ever yeah. saw. Like this is the same guy who killed a whole fucking clan of Tuskegee Raiders because because they, they killed, killed his mother. They killed his mom. Who, nobody killed what's her face. Oh uh, no! Padme. But Obi Wan's fucking cheating on her, like cheating on him. No, he's not. He jumped on the airplane when she jumped on the airplane. But he doesn't know that. Nah, that's that's. Crap. But why would why would he uh, why would he, Obi, why would she cheat with Obi Wan? Have you seen Anakin's abs? He's like a built. Yeah, but he looks like he's stupid looking. Like he's got a stupid. Uh, he's got a one arm. His good arm, he's like he's, his finger and his finger in hand is a freaking robot, so he can't really get into there with the finger. <laughs> <laughs> his finger and arm. Uh, and you know he's got a big old. He can use his left hand. <laughs> <laughs> He's not left-handed. He's got a big old scratch on his face. Like it's just not working out. Um. Anyway, so what? What? All right. But she still married him. App. Like even though she knew he had a big fucking scar and a and a like bad hand, she still married him. Yeah. yeah. And now she's now she she's, probably didn't have much choices. I mean, now she she's fucking married, showing uh, up with Obi Wan on Mustafar. Like, come still, on. It's still not worth getting choked out. Like, wait. I just like I got the fucking hiccups. If you can't hear that, <laughs> wait, who was it that she? We think uh, she was banging anyways outside of Obi Wan. That was, was uh, Lux. No, Lux. Uh, that was Aunt Ahsoka. Um, Clovis. Clovis. There we go. She's banging Clovis, man. I mean, what can you expect? She. That's why she has twins. Clovis got that super sperm. Well, Clovis you know? got one. Anakin got one. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's a immaculate pregnancy. He willed it. Nothing the force. is is out, off the table. Do you well actually? What do you th- do you think? Uba means like a uh, double father. Maybe it's like Uba. One pops out, and then she's like, Uba. and then they just like Uba. Hey, yeah, <laughs> all right. So yeah, Leia's Clovis, and Luke is fucking Anakin. <laughs> yeah, I mean Clovis was a he was an important person. That's why uh, uh, what's his face took him. Um, Jimmy Smith's character. Or uh, Bale. Bale. Yeah, he knew it was uh, gonna be a smart yeah, one. Yeah, there you go. Luke's just a moisture farmer. Yeah, that's always good at. <laughs> I, I still got a few more things. A couple questions that I have. First off, Mace Windu. Is he alive or dead? Dead. How do we know? Is this the thing that people talk about? Like, I don't, I don't know. Is this a ongoing thread of Star Wars fandom? Do people think that he's alive or dead? Do people care? 
I think the only people that think Mace Windu is still alive is Samuel L. Jackson, who basically wants to reprise the role of Mace Windu. But why, why, why wouldn't more people think he's alive? He just got thrown out the window. Like, that's nothing for a Jedi. He got his hand cut off and thrown out the window. Because he's fucking a million stories up. All right, well, fucking land on a well, goddamn car flying by or something. Like, he could be alive easily. They're not, isn't there, what about uh, Luke and Hoth? Or, I mean, on uh, um, uh, Isn't there precedent for somebody falling from Cloud that City. fucking height and still living? Where has he been for 40 years? I don't know. Fucking in hiding. Like, fucking Yoda and goddamn what's-his-face. I mean, of course he's Snoke. Didn't you know that already? Oh, yeah. Shit, I didn't think about that. Is that a, is that a theory? <laughs> Yeah, actually See, it was. Say, I don't, I it's don't a look theory. At I just don't agree with it. I don't it. look at theories. I don't to look me, at, he's dead. I don't look at theories. I don't look at fan theories. I just thought about this on my own, but I'm like, as I'm thinking about it, I'm like, all right, so I'm sure somebody's fucking thought about this already. Yeah, and like, really, the person I hear it from the most is Samuel L. Jackson. So it could be true, right? If the fucking actor himself thinks it, it's It true. could be, but like to me, Mace Windu is dead. Dude got fucking thrown out the window and a little bit of lightning fingers and no hand. But nobody fucking has a hand anymore, so whatever. Who needs hands in Star Wars? Like to me, he's dead. Okay. I don't think I don't I don't want them to bring Mace Windu back. And I like the character. But I don't I don't to me he's dead. Just but you don't him, have anything else to do since fucking Spider Man left. Let him rest in peace. What's he gonna do in uh for Disney? Well I mean he can still be what the fuck's his name? <laughs> Why are we drawing blanks on this? What, Nick yeah, Fury? Nick Thank Fury. you, Nick. <laughs> Oh, I figured you guys would have gotten that. I was waiting for you someone to say yeah, that. Yeah, well, fucking he, help us out but here. You don't fuck, he, his main activity was Spider-Man, and Spider-Man's gone, so now you don't have anything else to do. So well, he's be, the one that drew in Iron Man, too. Go be, yeah, Iron Man's dead, so go be fucking... Sp- spoiler alert. Iron Man. Well, how about a Mace Windu prequel? Or just a fucking... He's alive. Fucking no! He, why does he need to be alive? But he's too old. Why hasn't he fucking done anything? Know, he's hiding. He was saved by Sebulba. He's I don't hiding. know. He was saved by uh, uh, what's his face, the cook Dex. All right, what's my other Dex driving what's my along? Other question here. So other question. Okay, so execute order sixty six. So I'm watching this shit in two thousand five, and homeboy gets on there and says execute order sixty six. All these clones blindly just start killing Jedi. Like, at what point did people like wonder why the fuck are these people just killing their friends? Did they know that there's some kind of a plant embedded in their brains are they just doing what they're told like why would they think that this is something that would be okay like oh yeah he's got a hologram from this dude telling me to kill some freaking jedi like or execute order 66 like that's supposed to mean something but and i know now because we know that it was implanted based on clone wars but what did people think in 2005 anybody question this at all they just assumed that it was something that was normal i think everybody was so tired of the prequels by then i'm not saying you or i brian but i think a lot of people were tired of it that they didn't even really think about it they just went along with it why would you go along with that i mean i had because no issue with it look at the but what why would they the, do that why would they just start killing jedi just because the, he said that because you're getting the order from the fucking supreme chancellor but these are these people's friends like you wouldn't just they didn't even hesitate like Oh shit! Maybe wow. Maybe we shouldn't do that. No, they just did it, which is fine. Now knowing, whatever. Whenever the fucking Clone Wars came out, season six. Okay, that makes sense. But but it didn't. It didn't even occur to me then. Like, oh, why are they questioning? Like, no, you this don't is question the, things this, when you watch. This is the orders from the fucking Supreme Chancellor, Brian. If 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 I were like, if your boss tells you right now to go kill someone, you gonna go kill someone? Not in my current position, no. But if I was a soldier, <laughs> if you're okay, all right, no, that's that's a fair. Okay, so let's say you're a soldier and your your general tells you to kill your sergeant. Are you gonna fucking kill your sergeant, even though like you just he trained you and he's been is this, with you in the? Is this not what happened in World War Two? Was this not the the whole Nazi argument of oh, it was just following orders? Oh, we're not talking about Nazis. We're talking about American like soldiers. Yeah, the American I don't know. Side. I think you're going for the same argument here. Well, I mean, doesn't uh, what's but her they had face? They built a relationship. Um, doesn't she kind of talk about what? an Attack of the Clones? Does she kind of talk about how they're Ooh. like trained to follow orders? Uh, in Attack of the Clones. She was talking to Obi Wan. Uh, what's her name, Brian? The big alien creature um, on Kamino. Fuck. She was just on there last night. Tao and we? Yeah. Don't they like explain kind of like they were they were bred and built to 
follow the orders of whoever they're in charge with. I mean, because you also but have what's the, the order? I mean, the, like, okay, hey, go go uh, fucking fifty clicks over here and and wait for further instruction. Or hey, go shoot this guy. Not not fucking shoot your leader or shoot the your friends or whatever. Like these people have been in war together but on the same side for three years. Like obviously there's. Execute order 66 and it works like it's obviously something that's ingrained in them. It's not but the, the, Is that what people thought in 2005? Did they know that or what? like oh did nobody question this shit like say hey man? Maybe why why the fuck did in when uh, you leave the movie theater like why did all these Jedi just decide they're gonna kill everybody? They weren't they weren't Jedi. They were clones. I'm sorry. Why did all these clones decide they're gonna kill all the Jedi like that doesn't make any sense but it does. It doesn't. In that fucking grand scheme of the, it doesn't. They, if you watch all of Clone Wars, which once again we're we're talking about two thousand five, so just take so there was Clone, no Clone Wars, Wars out of it. No, and I am because we learned about all this stuff in Clone Wars. So yeah, take all of it out of it. But I had no just, issues like, oh, with it. Hey, here's all your fucking uh, clones just automatically because the some hooded figure in your hand says kill everybody. Oh fuck! All right, cool. Not yeah, some on it. hooded figure. It's fucking the. Supreme Chancellor. Was it? Was the, he wearing a hood? Or, or it doesn't was, matter. Was it's he the Supreme Chancellor? But he could have been Sidious at that point. Was he Sidious or was he the Chancellor? What does it matter? If he's fucking Sidious and he comes on your hands, ooh, <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> It's late, folks. It's late. Why is he coming on your hand? <laughs> if he's Sidious and he tells you what to do, you're not like, oh, well, who the f- why is he fucking telling me what to do? I'm not doing what he tells me to do. Yeah, but they don't know what Sidious looks like. That's why is this hooded figure telling me what to I'm do? I'm pretty sure it's common sense. I don't know, man. Uh, we can. It could be like a secure channel or whatever, something. Whatever, whatever, whatever. But to me, it doesn't make any sense. Like, Semantics. if I, I didn't watch this in 2005, I didn't watch this. Oh, my God. You know, how did you not? I didn't. I wasn't a Star Wars fan back then, but now I am. But you're an idiot. It, like you're an idiot. Episode. I was then, but now I'm not. And so, like, not but if idiot. I'm watching you're not it an idiot anymore. in new eyes or whatever, if I'm watching it back then, I, I got to be questioning things. Right? Nobody else questioned this shit. I would, I would like to know Kenny, like 2000. I would like to know 2005 Kenny. I was a 24 year old Star right Wars out of the military. Three. Like, if somebody honestly would have just come out and told me, Hey man, you know, just go kill all these people. Execute this order. Like, uh, let me yeah, well, think about it for one different. second. Let me just stop and think. You know, hey, maybe I'm yeah, but you're do it, different but let me than most people. Sit and think about this. I'm not just gonna be like, oh fuck, okay, bam, bam, bam. Hey friend, bye. That you're killed. No, they're gonna show some kind of thought. Like, hey man, damn, this dude just told me to kill fucking uh, what's her face over here. But um, why didn't that work for the fucking, like the World War Two Nazis? Like I'm flying behind old um, uh, fucking Master Flow. Maybe I should shoot him out of the sky. Yeah, can we can can we talk about the real issue of this movie? They killed our favorite character. That's what I'm saying. Uh, but they Master shot Flo. him down. And St. And, and they shot him down. Just well, St. Off, wasn't even in this movie. Based off of a snap of the finger. Okay, this dude just told me to shoot him down, execute him, execute Order Sixty Six. Oh, I'm gonna kill him right now. Like no, hey, what the why? Why did this guy just tell me this? I wonder. Like, oh well, fuck, oh, I don't want even if they still did it, they should still show them thinking like, man, why? I wonder why. Okay, well, I'll do it anyway. But they still didn't show them thinking about it. So now we know. But now it's fifteen years later, fourteen years later. But I don't know, you're both looking at me like I'm crazy. Like nobody, I can't believe anybody didn't think no, about this. No, I, I actually agree with yeah, you. Yeah, because at the time I thought nothing of it. Like. Okay, this makes sense. All it my favorite clones are just murdering Jedi just because this guy told me to or told them to. Yeah. Okay. Huh? Cool. I like the oddballs. You would have been a the, great uh, soldier. Of the just movie. Don't tell you what to do anything. Like, don't just. Well, I'm not saying I would do like it, but to me, it made sense. Like, okay, they're soldiers. They're following orders. Lieutenant. <laughs> Brian. Yeah, I murder. I, I never children. thought about it to be honest. I guarantee you're not the first I person know, to ask that question. Though. I know that there is precedence in history for it. So you're talking about the Nazis, right? So like, you're the you're the the, the World War Two expert. So what what is the precedent? Just real quick. I know we're probably boring people at four hours. Well, now. how about how about all of the like the Nuremberg trials and everything, and their excuse was basically always, "I was just following orders." But were they? They probably just use that excuse to try to get out of whatever punishment that was coming down the well, line. Exactly. 
That's different though. Like they weren't just following order. They were just well, they saying were. that later on. Okay, but as you move further and further down the chain of command, at some point, everybody's just following orders. Because they were going to get killed. Like, oh, if I don't do Ooh. this, somebody's going to murder me. Somebody's going to kill me instead. And then they're still going to kill the person they told me to kill. Like, they're going to kill me and them, so I might as well kill them, and then I still save my life. The the common soldier who's out there just mowing down uh, Jewish people in a trench somewhere just because their superiors told them to do it, they didn't they didn't think they were going to get killed. They just were doing it because they that's what their superiors told them to do. No, hey, when they're being interviewed later on, they're like, oh, yeah, this dude told me to do it. They probably wanted to do it anyway. But they're well, just okay. in, in, for, in whatever interview or trial they're like oh yeah that's let me push the blame on this guy he told me to do it i didn't do it, oh. it was just i didn't want to do it i love, love everybody oh, just, but i mean that's the whole that's the whole thing i don't know i can't like and you, you accept that like i don't accept that as a as my clone heroes so like everybody every clone in the clone wars is just the worst if so let's so let's go back to uh let's go back to iraq then okay uh looking back on it okay do you do you feel like you should have invaded Iraq? Absolutely not. <laughs> and you did, though, right? I didn't kill anybody. <laughs> <laughs> the only time, but actually, others, you know what? But Honestly, others did. And the only time American citizens did was when they were under attack. They weren't just popping off, killing people. They weren't just walking through cities with freaking <laughs> fire uh, packs and shit, like just setting people on fire. They're only doing it based off of the Geneva but fucking uh, the, what, what you the fact that you were the there. Engagement. The fact that you were there at all. You don't go. You get it, like you're gonna get court martialed. There you go. There's a difference. There's a difference between killing. Like had okay. If I was in Iraq, well, when I was in Iraq, if if my sergeant would have said, "Hey, shoot that child right there," I would not have shot that child. I would not have. No matter what, I would not have shot the child. Okay, so. But that's not the point. The point yeah, it is, is the like, point. They were just told to go mur- kill all these people who you were, weren't fighting against them. So you were there, like and were you didn't necessarily themselves. agree with it. Yeah, well, they, they, I went, but <laughs> okay. so did everybody else. They all went. There was, but still, there's a point. There's got to be a line you got to cross, and I feel like the clones cross that line because okay, they're all there. They're all in Kashyyyk or freaking <laughs> wherever they're at. But the second that they get the little guy in their hand saying execute order 66, then they cross a line. Like, I'm not crossing a line killing kids or killing. But just, can you say that all of unless your comrades. Self de- defense. But can you say all of your comrades would not have? I hope so. I would hope so. Everybody in when I was there acted in in like a, according to the, the rules of engagement. Except for a couple who just shot like random fucking dogs and cows and shit. <laughs> they were just like gun happy and they all got court martialed. So yeah, I would hope so that you know, and this is somebody that I don't know of, I would hope that they didn't just go popping off killing people for no reason. Just saying. <laughs> you may not have necessarily agreed with why you were there or what you did. There's a there's a but limit there's, and there's I think a point these guys to... killing their friends. You know, maybe they weren't their friends. Maybe they didn't really like them. But maybe. we saw in Clone Wars later on that they were their friends. But maybe some of them were like, "Hey, this this fucking uh, this fucking uh, Master Flow." He's they kind never of a, even showed he's, one he's scene, kind of not even one second in Revenge of the Sith of somebody stopping and saying, "Hey, this hmm, Master Flow." Maybe, maybe I should not do this, or I wonder why I'm getting this order. Maybe still Master complete Flo's the order, but nobody even dick. thought about it. Like, oh shit, maybe I should not do this. Maybe Master Flow's kind of a dick. Maybe we should. Maybe we should take this guy out. Maybe old Plo oh wait, Jun oh wait, the, the Chancellor just said we should kill this guy. Okay. Sure, why not? Okay, yeah, I'm on it. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. All right, so we're gonna agree. Obviously, we're gonna agree to disagree here. Yeah, absolutely. But there's no reason that these guys and now knowing once again once we've seen Clone Wars we kind of see that they were oh they were better with and the then chip and blah blah blah. Once we see once we see Clone Wars then we know that I'm right. So no, we know that they didn't have a choice. They didn't just act because this guy told them to. They didn't have a choice. It was in their head. They didn't have a choice unless they ripped so, it out. So I'm right. No, they have a choice. Uh, thanks, thanks for agreeing. <laughs> so anyway, they didn't have a choice. <laughs> Nick, what's your thoughts, real quick, before uh, we go? Yeah, I don't have any thoughts. I'm sitting here. It was an <laughs> as we're approaching I, four uh, hours. I now, yeah, that's that's the thing. I was trying to was. <laughs> I all I know is now that the Clone Wars are out, it makes a lot more sense. But yes, as Kenny says, 
at the time, 2005, it wouldn't have made any sense. Nick, did you think that at the time? Yes, they're following. No, because I don't think a lot of times. So, no, I didn't think that. Okay. At the time. It was a good conversation. Maybe we should have done this two hours ago, though. Yeah. <laughs> but, no, that makes a lot of sense, though, when you say it, Kenny. I, I agree with you when you told me the first time. I but don't yeah, agree yeah. With well, you know, that's the usual, though. Thing you I usually agree, agree with Kenny. Forces. Kenny and I usually agree on everything. On this one, we don't agree. It's been a lot of disagreements today. I mean, especially with. Uh, Kenny going opposite directions. So it's what he likes to do. He um, goes, yeah, but he like goes I said, opposite it's directions. Episode three, Revenge of the Sith, is an interesting movie, but doesn't hold up with what goes Wait, on. That's in your the Clone opinion. Wars, I don't think either. that's my opinion too. That's your opinion. Huh? I think if I were to give it a a, a grade, it's a B minus. I give it an A. And B minus is is generous. That's only because of the stuff in Clone in uh, Clone Wars. Minus Clone Wars. Going, I say an A, but up I can probably C. go as low as a B plus on this. Without Clone Wars, it's a C. But with Clone Wars, no, it's a absolutely B-. not. I don't need Clone Wars for Revenge of the Sith to be an awesome movie. Fucking great. I love it. All right, I'm giving it a B. <laughs> So, uh, any more thoughts on the um, good conversation? The though, for real, good conversation. I like. That. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. I'm good. Okay. Uh, so we are doing solo next, yeah. right? Yeah. That should not be as controversial as this one. I love solo. Solo is my uh, number one favorite film. So I am fired up, and it won't it won't take an hour and a half to talk about it. That's for sure. Yeah. We, I mean, we talked about it before, so it shouldn't be as long this time. So you we'll talk about know. it as a year. After retrospective, but um, okay, so that's gonna do it. Um, we're almost under almost at four hours of recording, it was the longest episode we've recorded. Uh, but there was a lot of stuff to talk about, a lot of stuff to discuss. Um, so with that, we'll go ahead and head out. Uh, Kenny, Brian, thank you for joining as usual. Uh, Kenny, where can they find, a, find you if they want to reach you? Guess what? You can reach me at Kenny81. At Kenny81 on the Twitter. You changed it? No, I just decided to go with my real Twitter. There you oh, go. Wow. I am. Uh, I have to look it up again. At real trench run underscore Brian. There you go. On the Twitter. That's the one. Which you haven't right. done much lately. I get it. You got to get on there. No, I haven't. I haven't really. Okay. So, yeah, you can reach uh, Brian there. Real trend from underscore Brian. You can reach me at Big Shadow Woman 3A. Find out all the stuff I'm doing, including Movie Emporium. Uh, also, hit us up on uh, email at trenchfrontpod at gmail.com. But with that, I'm tired. We're all tired. I'm going to bed. So we'll see you guys on episode 42 in a couple weeks. Peace out. Bye bye. Good day. They're like yelling at me to turn off my cameras or phone, so I could never have sent it to you anyways. But Well, I mean, I'm sure yours wouldn't have been top quality anyway. I think I could have handled it pretty nicely. You're a pretty shaky I am. guy. I'm very tall and shaky. Like shake, shake, yeah. shake. We're talking hot takes of Star Wars. And now it's Boof.